Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another stream of Europa and Vishalis for Brunswick and Merry freaking Christmas to everyone. Even though you celeb I celebrated yesterday, I know people, well, most people I guess, celebrated today. So Merry Christmas everyone, hope you have a great holiday thingy and uh, well, a great Christmas, lots of presents and everything like that. I am gonna celebrate with just some nice chill eu 4 and apparently my chair decided to break right now. One of the armrests just fell straight off now. Oh my god, really? Really, couldn't you have done that slightly before the stream so I could fix it? Uh, one second. Okay, there we go. So, if I sound any different or if there's anything weird going on, um, maybe you see that I actually have a pretty good green screen. It's because I've redone the entire setup of my entire, well, room. My bed. It's a new place, like my entire software. I have actually a green screen on the wall now made up. So yeah, look how pretty it is. Exactly, you can't see it. That's the great thing. Happy Hanukkah or Shankuna, what? <laughs> Hopefully everything is great. Yeah, it's even removing parts of my share a bit better now. Pretty much everything should be better, hopefully. So, Dr. Sog, Brit Maya, thank you much for the resub. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream and back to the salt mine. <sighs> Uh, let's see, so we need a gift... Wait, what? We need to gift Dan... Gift Daniel share. What? 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 Latvian? What? <laughs> My day has been absolutely fantastic. You're a QA, Daniel. You've got to know that things never break when it's convenient. <laughs> well, that's very, very true. How are you doing, Alan? Or... Mm. Very nice. So yeah, just chilling. It's holidays, it's vacation, it's freaking Christmas. So I'm sipping on a gin and tonic. Hope you have some nice... Drink, make some popcorn. We'll just sit back right here and enjoy playing some EO4. Uh, let's see, is everything fine still with my volumes? Everything seems to be great. I am echoing a tiny bit more right here than before. So if you hear it, I will try to fix it as quickly as possible. But oh god, I feel so refreshed. It's been a fantastic day. I hope I hope it's been great for you guys. Majeb, thank you so much. Oh my god, eight freaking months. Speaking of popcorn, holy shit, that's not my hand. <laughs> that's great. Thanks so much for the resub, Yeb. You're awesome. Keep on rocking and get back to this old mine. So, Brunswick, Brunswick, Brunswick. Will you conquer Germany? I think I will be. I'm pretty full, bashing overcooked for Christmas. I'm having leftover rice now. Yeah, I had that too as well. So, my day, I slept like a billion years. Then I woke up. I cleaned some parts of my room, like preparing for this. I went to the gym, I came home, fixed it, and then I had some leftovers as well. And holy shit, Nevalisk! Thank you so much! Welcome to the salt mine! Welcome back to the salt mine! And... Yeah, all that stuff. And holy shit, I became a cactus. I was just super confused by that. Like, what the hell am I there? <laughs> Thanks so much, Nevalisk! And apparently I got a moat or something, and I... Got to thank Novelist for it. Even better. And even better. Now the Christmas song that is in the game started. So I'm just going to raise the volume temporarily. So we get to hear this lovely, lovely song. But uh, just have a quick look of what's going around right now. So Brunswick. Where are we in this game? Well, we have almost finished off the German ideas. We only have one idea from it actually. And that would be tech cost minus 5%. That's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Otherwise, our ruler is, uh, but our heir, mm, lovely. If he dies, then, uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just be very sad. That would not be a great Christmas present, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure we, yes, we are still the ruler of the HRE. Uh, two people voting on Saxony, and if I remember correctly, I had tons of issues figuring out, holy shit, how am I gonna do this? Uh, we need to keep everyone control. How about just killing or... How about just vassalizing everyone else that somebody else is voting on? Currently we have 5 out of 6, so if we vassalize Saxony, that would be a pretty good move. We just need to make sure that nobody else bothers us too much about it. Uh, Christmas song. Come on, the Christmas song is absolutely great. So apparently it's possible to get points by watching channels and got the f a free failure mode. Yeah, Latvian, so Twitch finally rolled out points for everyone. So even if you're not subbing now, just by watching, 
or actually even just having it AFK and lurking, it would still be possible for you to earn those sub emotes. And I'm super, super happy about that. Like I have made, like if you watch two hours, I think, you'll, you'll be possible to unlock one of those emotes for, I think, 48 hours, maybe it's 24, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I just decided that if I can do it, like I, I'm gonna look into it if I can increase the point gain even more because I really, really just would love to give out all the emotes for everyone and then just people who want to sub, they can sub because they want to support it and get that cool icon beside your name. But if if it's possible to make like emotes available for everyone, that would be even better. I would love that. So this is actually very confused. I am slightly confused. Can I just move that one right there? Oh, that's great. Oh, yes. Yes, that's awesome. And then I'll move this one right there. No, no, no. This, come on. Yes, oh my god, that's awesome. Yes, now I know I chat the correct place. I'm also testing out Twitch new overlay, so I might be a bit confused. Merry Christmas, Raptor Escape. Christmas hunting accident. Yeah, I, oh my god, that would be absolutely super, super sad. Uh, and actually, I can't watch right now. I might pop in later. Good luck with stream. Thank you, Various. Have a good one. Have a good Christmas. Have a fantastic Christmas. Oh my god, yeah, that, <laughs> some glasses on that salt mode. Wow, that was actually pretty cool. Maybe I'm actually just gonna play out steal that one. Also, if you vassalize an Imperial Elector, you get relation debuff with every other Elector. It's better to PU over them. Ooh, good to know, Raptor. Good to know. Like, this is the great thing about streaming. I know this game really in and out, but small details here and there that just you don't remember. It's too much to keep track of. You have a lovely chat to tell you about it. I, It's awesome. Thank you, Raptor. Will you do any colonies? Yes, but no. I won't do it, but I will let other people most likely do it, and then I will take it from them. Okay, I, I'm fine now with Christmas music. Let's reduce that once again. There we go, lovely. Let's reduce it for myself as well. And then go back and let's finally begin playing this game. Don't you think it's about to like that? Let's begin a bit slowly. Plans fabricated. Actually, what were our plans? Uh, we had, I think we just generally improved relationship with everyone. Uh, Elector, yes, I think we're trying to increase Imperial Authority by as much as possible. If the text is a bit unclear and unfocused, it's because I scale up everything by 20%, so you will actually be able to see what it says and everything. I hope that's fine for you. So, all of you love me, you don't, you don't, you don't. Well, understandable. So, uh, Brandenburg, I want to reduce you to a one province minor. No causes belly, that's it. it. Holy gab, have yourself a merry last Christmas I gave you my sub. <laughs> Thank you freaking much, Jeb. You're awesome. You're, you're awesome. Like, if you're in Sweden, sometimes just tell me. I, I really want to meet up, because you're awesome. Uh, of course, it was free, free 20. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was gonna say it was 420, but then I actually looked at it. But yeah, free 20, good. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I don't know what's with me today. I'm like really full of this holiday spirit. It's been a good one. It's been a really good one. Have you done the World Conquest team? No, Panther Dragon. I'm not actually that good at EO4. I'm really good at playing EO4 until like this size. But then I really, I can't push and grab the lost things. Like I'm playing too fast. I'm playing speed five, you know. And it's not really worked for me that way. Uh, so let's see, everything there is fine, yes, so we are gonna get a claim on lovely little Brandenburg, hopefully beat the crap out of them, and make them to a one province miner in, actually maybe two province, so they can't be killed very easily. Like, we take these two from them, let them le let them have that too. Uh, I just need to double check my current aggressive expansion, uh, and I never remember where it actually is. Okay, let let's do like this. That's finally added. So that's unrest. Let's also add another map mode, which should be aggressive expansion. Did I miss it again? I think I might have. Hello, aggressive expansion. Where are you? Unrest, rebel type, coalition. I think that one. So let's see. Aggressive expansion. Nobody. We have no like, respect with anyone. Oh my god, that's even awesome. That's so good. <laughs> Never forget Brunei MP. Oh my god, that was absolutely terrible. Playing as Brunei, I expanded more quickly than anyone in the world. Colonized all of North Africa, even all the way here. And then I was betrayed by all my allies. It was me, I had like 400,000 men versus 
12, 14 players. They had like 2.6 million and I defended my own island, my own island of Brunei, which you can't even see on a map for like two and a half years, killing six to one. But yeah, they was just overwhelming and killed me eventually. Holy shit. <sighs> you fought that war like a boss. Yeah, and I like I could probably have fought it even better, but I was so freaking furious. Like, I was so furious, it was... I c can't even describe it properly to you guys. I was so mad because I'd sacrificed so much for so many just to have everyone I trusted stab me in the back. Oh my god, I was absolutely... Ra I was fuming. I was absolutely fuming. And then to top it all off, I lost the third place trophy on the very, very last month of the game. And when I say the very, very last month of the game, month of the game, I mean the very, very last month of the game. And that's probably the first time ever I clicked military, military right there and not lost, losing prestige. What the hell did I do? I should have lost that prestige. Actually, wait, no, maybe that was actually making, yeah. Okay, maybe that wasn't the worst, <laughs> worst idea in the world. So, uh, I think I wanted a vassal empire in some way, sh way, way, like in some ways. Yeah, that would actually be kind of fun. I never basically played that. I could play the let's take all their income game. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, maybe I had it, had already decided, but let's actually decide it. We're gonna play the ridiculous takeover, well, everyone's, let's make people puppets and like clients that's and all that. And then you squeeze out every dime they possibly can. But let's see. So we're gonna speed up this, speed up the speed. Uh, so you want target on subjects? Okay, we're all good right there. I think I'm gonna set both of them on. Actually, one on neighboring, one on ally. So you is neighboring country. Yeah, sure, you are allies, but I don't really care. Just have your idol there, and I I can deal with you later. Scotland. Yeah, sure. Have I ever played U4 on PDXCon? Uh, I did stream part of the Master of Charles this year's PDXCon. That was tons of fun. Hopefully I can do some more U4 streaming later as well. Uh, so in a few ideas in just a couple months. Yeah, that's perfect. That's going to give me 25% less advisor cost. Might not sound like very much, but reducing advisor cost by 4.8 by 25% absolutely fantastic so we're gonna get this one so leaders we can have one more leader less advisors we get one more prestige because german it is and we gain a couple more policies and i think i would really like that one so we can actually get minus 30 percent fort maintain maintenance uh actually what is our current fort cost two point oh my god that's actually brilliant <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic we're gonna earn so much more money one more tick, one, there we go, and we earn 11.75, wow, that's awesome. Uh, that is check Creative Corner, you might find something you have talked about before. Creative Corner, Discord, Creative Corner. <laughs> Very nice, Slut, yeah, thank you. I'm def, I think, like, I don't know, I think I need like 20, 20, 30 more subs to get one more emote slot, but I might want to change out something and pick that instead because that's so much more awesome. Uh, I'm gonna pick that one at a time just because we get that 3% innovativeness and we also get a bit better cannons for our invasion of Brandenburg. Let's take Berlin right there, let's move up our troops like this. Uh, let's go up to speed 5 again. And Brandenburg, you're not at war if I declare that war. Let's remove that guy and let's see. So Austria will join this now, but how strong are they really? Hmm. Magdeburg, you will join, but you want me to give you something. Uh, how strong is their little Austria? Because Austria is not emperor anymore. I am. I am. The queen. Uh, no. Um, right. I am the freaking goddamn Austria. Emperor. I'm the Emperor. Right. We had not fixed this anymore. 
we had not fixed this anymore. Like, like, what the hell am I saying? We had not fixed our force limit. We were lacking manpower. That's why we were not been at war for such a long time. And that's why we don't have any aggressive expansion. Everything is starting to make sense now. I, I'm starting to remember everything. Right. Oh, okay. Now I remember where we were and what we had done. Right, we had no manpower, that's why we were severely lacking stuff. Okay, so you both are going to start training this as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to build up a pretty huge ass army, I think. So you are pretty good, like, standard. So 12 to 4. I would have liked you guys to, I think, 6 if possible. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, army 800 so uh, or in this game before I finally understand how trade works. Wow, trade is a bit weird, but uh, I still like. I would say I understand it 98 percent something. So don't worry about it if you don't understand trade. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. Perhaps because uh, I know about the reforms. This one I would love to get, but it's gonna be a ridiculous time until we can actually fix this up fully. Uh, it's. Yeah, we're gonna try, but we'll see what happens. So, Austria, uh, I declare war against Brandenburg. I think I'm gonna try to fully siege you, because maybe I can convert your nation. But for that, we're actually gonna have to win this war, and I don't exactly know if we're gonna do that. So, first of all, 12 to four. Would be nice with six, but this is basically all our income when I, th when I look at this. But yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get one of these. And I think we need like a bit more money. Just a tiny bit more money. So we are basically losing all of that and more. But we are getting another army. And our force limit is going to be all the way up to like 54. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely awesome. And with that, I think I... Oh my. Are you kidding me, game? Last time I had a coalition and you just threw modifier at me. Like, there was no tomorrow. This time, I'm like, uh, we're probably gonna be alright. And the game just says, oh, you don't, you're not sure, Daniel? Well, here, have a 50% morale bonus. <laughs> I love you, game. Thank you for that Christmas present, and I almost clicked that button. Uh, I think we're gonna bend to the wishes and ability. Uh, my daily trader is gonna be a bit pissed, but... Yeah, you're a bit pissed, but I'm gonna give you some charters and I'm gonna ask you for some money. And you're at 99% right there. <sighs> Talk about being on the edge right there. Luckily, we don't have an aristocratic coup going on right there. But I think it... Oh, God. There we go. You're at 4% right there, 99. <sighs> and that's gonna be make everything a bit more cheaper. We got another leader right there. And I think we're A-OK -okay and ready to get this ball on the road. Uh, do I have to care about you? Yeah, you're gonna be a bit strong, but I think I'm gonna be more than well enough to take care of the little Austria. Are you excited for this? Monster or emoji? <laughs> oh, you have some bits left? <laughs> Jeb, don't worry about it. Use it whenever you want to. So, Liege. Uh, let's see, where are you? Liege, did you take over someone fully, or did you just... Uh, I could make Luxembourg. If I demand... Ah, uh, you don't even want to do that. Yeah, that's fine then. I am fine. Oh god, now... We're, uh, right, that was also one reason we didn't clear war before. Because now when it's peace in Empire, we get a bit more points. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do it anyway. And I think I'm gonna start expanding... Like, I think Commonwealth is gonna be my main enemy. Because here is a lot of land I can add to the Empire and for that to be able to step over to the next levels. And we need 50. Wow, that's a lot. But well, if that's what we need, then that's what we need. Declare this war. And finally, a couple more people are gonna actually join right there. So the MP3 you mentioned in the DC. <laughs> it's gonna be quite soon. It's gonna be quite soon, like two, three days, I think. Just have a small little MP and have some fun right there. So we're gonna call in all our allies. None is very important, so that's fine. <laughs> you have 64 bits on your windows, does that count? Uh, I think it does. So we're gonna clear that, call in everyone. We're gonna get yearly inflation to reduce that one. And otherwise we're pretty good, yes. And I think I'm just gonna march into there and have you guys as reserves. 
Unless we can actually, yeah, we can just walk around that. Yeah, that's pretty good. So please just besiege that. Thank you. Come on. And go to the next one as well. You can't? Okay, then let's just have you stay right there for a bit longer. Austria, Austria, my man, where are you? Uh, Austria, are you, are you at war with someone? No? In a war together, warning Austria. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, that's absolutely great. Yeah, I have no issues with this at all. Come on, just take down this and let's actually order artillery barrage as well. Just to finish it off a bit earlier and we're fine with military points, so that's okay. Let's even raise war taxes. We're really, really fine with military points, surprisingly enough. Come on, just take that down. Uh, actually, we can move. No, we can't. Actually, all my armies are right now completely stuck right there. Thank you. Uh, did someone peace out my ally already? Yes. Oh god, that was very very quick. Uh, let's take two armies right there. And this guy can just continue for- Oh wow, it was really that army besieging down that nation. Okay. Uh, and there we go. Someone accepted with our one of our other allies. So instantly is peacing out two of my allies. But it gave me enough time to take down all of Brandenburg. So you pretty much did what you were supposed to. Just delay them a tiny bit and we'll be all, all good and all fine. Okay, there we go. Let's make another artillery barrage right there. And no one is close to these people. And I think I'm just gonna send in both my armies to just bring down their little Austria. So you're gonna escape 15th, 22nd, and you're gonna be crushed. What? Oh my god, really? They escaped that? Okay, fine. Fine by me, fine by me. So we just need to play it a bit safe and secure. Oh god, you're just marching straight to my capital. Okay, that, that's I guess fine. Oh no, you actually marching right there. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with you going up right there. Uh, let's slow down the game just a tiny teeny weeny bit. So we can make sure they don't stab me in the back right there while we are cleaning up this Austrian army. In the north, just block them in and don't let them escape. Come on, there we go, from both sides. Very good, taking over this. Excellent, our empire is now stronger. They added another place to the HRE. God, I like you sometimes, AI. I really like you sometimes, AI. Blob in the Commonwealth, they really haven't invaded in a long time in their long dues from partitions. Yeah, exactly. You need to be the sole defender of Riga and make them grow, yeah. Well, I am, like, I, that's one thing I did say I was gonna do during this campaign. Try to save everything that my subs are from, or in your case, moderators. There we go, the dear Austrian army just being absolutely annihilated. Actually, not too much annihilated, but like 1.5 to 2, that's good enough. Just take over these people, then just separate piece them out, just really just clean out all my enemies one by one like they did to us come on that's taken now let's help my dear little ally to fix that uh, ignore them or pay them some money sure let's pay this money i don't want to lose any well i don't i don't want to lose any i don't want to lose any stability so come on let's just go and take the capital of yen vienna or, well, I guess the end. Whatever. Get going right there. Let's make another artillery brush. We're really just using it left, right, center. Just keep spamming it out, really. It's it's kind of fine right now. Have you seen the Witcher TV series? I've seen half of it. I've really seen half of it. So, uh, no spoilers. I will freaking kill you. Because it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It even made me start playing the Witcher 3 again. So... Uh, do you know that they have already confirmed a season 2 of it? Yes, because, well, overwhelming support, I guess. But yeah, they have already confirmed a season 2 of it, so I'm super, super happy about that. Come on, just take down their freaking capital right there, and there we go. Are you locked in? No, 
now you're completely stuck. Yeah, you're stuck right there, and we're gonna use our entire force, including a couple of allies. Oh god, you actually reinforced that quite well, but unfortunately not well enough. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna PC out. I'm gonna grab some money. I'm gonna do some war. Actually, are you in the Empire? Yes, you are in part of the HRE. You're the correct religion as well. Okay, cool. Then I'm just gonna do like this. War operation. I'm gonna make you... Uh, I don't know. And some treaties that I would like you to remove. And let's see. Can we do this? Not very close. Come on. Uh, one more step. There we go. That's a bunch of prestige for me, and we get some, yeah, cool, some money, some war taxes, and you're breaking a couple of Another alliances. And holy before. shit, thank you, Latvian, for the resub. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Well, welcome to the stream, and back to the freaking salt mine. Get back right there. Uh, oh, really? The first one is just based on short stories? Ah! Shit, I didn't know that. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I thought it was a bit weird, but I guess it's like the introduction thing. And so the second season is going to be the first book. Okay. Like, I haven't read the books myself. I heard they're really, really good. But, um, yeah. Oh, really? You're going to manage to escape that? Okay. Uh, let's push up right there and let's split my armies. Come on. Split that army. Just march down right here. I don't wanna want you to take too much attrition. Kill off right there, and you're locked in there, and we're gonna wipe. Wow, really? You're escaping that again? God, you're just continuously escaping my armies right there. But I guess the Austrians are now coming. No, I'm not gonna raise it again. But I am gonna engage this Austrian army with everything we got, especially since we have the fort and we have the miracle superiority. Sure, we're gonna take some, well, reasonable losses, but it's gonna be all fine and dandy. Because they're dead now, so we can't do that. Come on, take that, take that, take that. Excellent, just take down everything right here. So Austria, if I would force you, could I force your religion? No, 459%. Yeah, that's a bit too much. So I guess I'm just gonna ask you for all the money you possibly have and make you, let's see. Uh, give up claims. No, I want you to give up some treaties with Commonwealth. Just liber well, remove them from there. And let's, let's see, is there anyone else? I guess Brandenburg and Bavaria. Okay, not Bavaria. Uh, let's see, is that fine? Okay, let's remove one. And there we go. War taxes, money, and remove, well, alliances with people that want to attack. Excellent. So, we're going to return this entire way home before I make this peace deal. So like I said, I would like to remove them as much as I can, like take down, take that. A coalition will form against me, only with Brandenburg and Saxburg, then I'm all good with that. War operation, and I want you to annul treaties with France and Anhalt. Thank you. So Brandenburg is now mine and everything is good in the world. And holy shit, that costs a lot of admin points. Well, what do you do? Let's do both of them because they are excellent provinces. Excellent, excellent, excellent provinces. Uh, let's see, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Let's pick the first one right there. So we can squeeze out a bit more income from our vassal. <sighs> Is it somehow possible to form Latvia out of Riga? I don't know, I, probably, like it wouldn't surprise me. We have had this game out for a very long time. Yeah, sure, let's definitely do that. Some Pomeranian officers for 5%. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really nice. And Cher, why are you breaking again? Cher, stop breaking. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to, like, uh, fix it again without, uh, without any tools, but just with my fingers. It's not going really excellent. Brunswick Slonk after Brandenburg already being swallowed. Yeah, we are looking pretty good right now. Uh, let's see, I would like to reach to Commonwealth. And we already actually have. How strong is the goddamn Commonwealth? They are pretty goddamn strong. 
15, I'm at military tech 16, so we have a slight advantage right there. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure their troops are a slight bit better than ours. If we could call in France with us, I think we can do it. Otherwise, I think we're a bit too weak. Uh, Austria, attitude against enemies, destabilize France, distant war. Wow, that's some hefty, hefty modifiers. Bad modifiers. So let's get some prestige from converting religious, well, not my religion, territory. Uh, heretical territory, I guess. Uh, let's see. We're pretty good again. Yeah, sure. Let's speed up again. Let's see if we can build anything. Not high enough. Not high enough. Not high enough. Uh, I guess one manufacturer then. Slow but certainly get them up and rolling. Yeah, Poland is really, really huge. They just expanded like there was no tomorrow. Moscow is pretty big as well. Sweden, I helped them and then they rival us pretty much. France, we helped them as well. We have a like huge nation, huge nation, huge nation, pretty big, huge nation, huge nation. So not many, like, it's not been very split. Everyone just took everything they could. Uh, sure, military access, that's fine. Curland. Wait, what? Can we get, could we do Curland right now? No. Oh, you mean Curland right there. Yeah, Riga could possibly be that. If they expand just a tiny bit more. Various, welcome back. Yeah, we're fine. We went in, we took Berlin and Potsdam. We kicked some Austrian and burned the Bergen ass, but we're good. Uh, let's see. Promises. Uh, it's a quest you come to your aid in the province of Contois of Modena against Provence. Provence, we're the defender of fate, obviously a protector. Provence is allied with France, Austria. Uh, but yeah, are you joining? Oh, you are joining. That would sour my relations with France, and I don't want that. So I guess we're just gonna lose the defender of faith right now. Too bad, but Mantua, I can't accept that. That's a bit too much, too expensive. How is the religious map mode actually? Actually, pretty much everyone is. Well, Protestant, except the uh, normal Protestant nations. Uh, we have Anglian in England. That's a bit weird, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Traitor! Well, I do what I must. I'll do what I must. I'm a bit like Sifts. Well, I guess Jedi's. Well, Jedi's are Sifts, if you didn't know, so. And uh, it seems like. This territory is no longer revolting against me. I remember that. We had constant events that you said, give me that territory or lose 20 prestige. But that has not happened in a very long time now. Maybe it's because we converted everything to my culture, our religion, cored it, and then saved and reload. Could be a pot potential thing right there. Hello, Sonderkraft. How are you, man? So you're chilling a bit more, gaining a bit more manpower. Just taking it easy right now. Uh, we could demand military power, but I'd rather actually just have the extra manpower recover speed right now, surprisingly enough. It's a very weird session, but it's pretty good right now. Uh, let's get a bit more tax, please. Put it there. Awesome. We could make a generous donation just to kind of counteract that one. How much would it be? 84? Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see both there, just to get some lovely, lovely admin points, and we can pick the next one right there. Awesome, production efficiency plus 2%, and next level we get the admin efficiency minus 10%, or well, I guess plus 10%, but that means 10% less admin cost. Lovely. Uh, Rhapsody, it actually doesn't. I am like 95% sure about that, because I was pissed about that. I was absolutely pissed about that. So I complained to the E4 team and I'm pretty sure they said we have a fix, it's just not in the live build right now. It should be like that, but it's not fixed. So I'm pretty sure it's currently bugged in the live build, but maybe they did a small hot fix and I don't know about it. Very possible right there. Very possibility right there yeah that he did it I, uh, whatever you understand what I mean so next plans 
attack the Commonwealth somehow. We really, really need France with this. Or we need a really good fort right here that we can just annoy the shit out of them. So yeah, we. I don't really know how I built it right there, but yeah, I did want it right there. Kawaii, hello, welcome. And yeah, sorry, Rig is being occupied by Muscovy. Sorry. Yeah, maybe Muscovy do want to help me against Commonwealth. That is true. We just would need to improve relationship with that first. Let's send that over. Uh, people are not voting enough for me, apparently. Uh, let's send back both of these. <laughs> so why are you not... Oh, right, because you were forced to annul the alliance. Uh, you would potentially help me. Uh, so why are you not helping me? Why are you not voting for me, goddammit? Because you're voting for yourself. Well, that's A-OK, -okay, I guess. So I guess could maybe potentially turn you. How many relationships do we have? Alliance, Alliance, Royal, Royal. Yeah, okay, we can't change anything either. Uh, I would like to improve that relationship. I would like to... Let's see, could we improve this relationship even more? Maybe make them vote a tiny bit for me. Okay, let's see if we call that guy. Uh, let's see, could we improve this relationship more? We are already not doing it. No, we're not doing it, so let's do it then. Viking Nephilim, maybe. But it seems to have stopped right now for me. So I don't know if it's because I hotfix, because I did it and then save reloaded. I don't seem to be getting them anymore, so something has fixed it at least. Elon Muscovy, stop <laughs> attacking Riga. <laughs> Elon Muscovy. Oh, of course you decide to do freaking golden time, which makes it even more unlikely for me to actually do it. Damn it. Hmm. Well, we should actually accept Saxony as a promoted culture. That's like a really good move right there. Uh, global trade, damn it. Where did the global trade happen? London. Yeah, that's not too bad. We should be getting it relatively quickly, I think. Uh, we do have Holstein, which gains 0 0.10. Actually, more than that. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe we could actually fill our areas with a bit more trading posts. I think that does increase it by a tiny bit, but um, we're really no good areas for it, so... Hello Weekend Trolling, how are you doing? No, Riga... Actually, how is Riga doing? Ah, Riga, you're fine! You're A-OK, -okay. nothing happened? Commonwealth came in to save you. Commonwealth and Sweden both declared separate wars on Muscovy, right? Muscovy's purge of... Wait, wait, wait. So you attacked Riga, then attacked Sweden before you finished the war, which made Commonwealth attack you. Nice. Very nice. Uh, oh, right. This one. This is super interesting. So we can get five, that's 500 Diplo points, technically. Uh, let's see, where can I see it? Right there. We would get to 20, no, no, here, to 36%. We'll lose one's ability for it. I'm actually not too, otherwise it's 200, 200. So we'll basically lose 100 points right there. Gaining, get, uh, I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, Raptor, we're really on the same wavelength but length right now. Yeah, I, I'm doing it. Uh, let's see, are we good with the admin? Yes, we are, but I really want that ASAP, but whatever. Let's bump up my stability one more time. I like to stay at 2 plus ability, uh, well, always if I can. If I get an event that gives me one more, well, of course we get up to 3. But uh, generally, 2 plus stability is where I want to be. As much as possible. Come on, die! Die, you bastard! Die! Do it! 
Die now. Uh, how are we doing with Separatist? Pretty much everyone loves me, so that's awesome. Okay, uh, what should we do? All of these territories in the Empire, very nice. This is an Empire, nothing else is. If we declared war against them right now, we would probably be pretty good. Commonwealth, you have 63,000 manpower, you have a 100k force limit, you currently have a much larger army than me, you have twice the amount of cannons. Yeah, I can't do this right now, we need to expand a bit. Uh, can I expand upwards? Because none of that is actually empire territory, like killing Denmark. Ulm and Netherlands would be helping you. And that... And this is non-Empire land. No, wait, it is Empire land, yeah. But France would help me with it. <laughs> it's, you're asking a Swede. Well, I, myself, I'm asking myself if I want to invade Denmark. Is that even a freaking question, man? <laughs> We are gonna invade Denmark. Uh, invade Denmark, grab some nice land to add to the empire, and then we'll see. <laughs> oh my god, Raptor, you are awesome. Was it ever option not to invade Denmark? Well, no, not really. Time to absolutely kick some ass. Uh, if we lose this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fuming. Uh, oh my god, you. Really, really insulted me right there. Oh my god, and we get six fire to eradicate those goddamn separatists. Wipe them out. Oh, not dead. Thank you. Go duel. One box. One, one box. One box. One box. Uh, well, go duel. Where the hell is Ulm? Uh, I don't actually know. Let's see. Where the hell is Ulm? Ulm is still here. Ulm is fine. Ulm is all good. <sighs> okay, uh, do you want to give me access right now, my man? Yes, you do want to give me access. Thank you, so I'm gonna just march in with my troops well, as close as possible. And uh, let's see, do I have a fleet? Yes, I have 15 right there, but I'm afraid that might not be enough. Uh, so let's see, Gallus, yes. Uh, I guess we're gonna wait a year before I do this. I just need to be sure I have enough to bring down the freaking Danish Navy. And actually walk over all these islands. I have too many time invaded them to realize they have like two heavy ships. Then we can't do anything about it. Uh, Borrow generals, diplomats, admin please. Says we're gonna invade and take land. And thank you Hesse, you are a great friend. Uh, more, more income fee? Yeah, I'm fine with that. And there we go, the Emperor's dead, but we gained Emperorship one more time. I mean, holy shit, that could have been really bad. I should have double checked this, but 10 Imperial of War right there. Mm! That's how we do it. And then new natural decisions. Uh, I want more income, and I want more missionary strength. Good and good. Um, pay 100 to get a ton more base tax. You're gonna pay that. We're gonna accept that royal marriage. Definitely. And let's see. Are we allied with you? Yes, we are. That means royal marriage, if I can. Are we allied with you? No, we're not. But you are voting for me. Where are we? Six out of six. All right, because of the military taxes. I forgot about that. But yeah, we're good. Otherwise. Uh, should we accept them? Nah. Nah, we're fine right there. Okay, we're good everywhere. Uh, I guess you're the only one I can do. No, you. Okay, good, good. We're fine. We're good. Uh, are we ready? Are we ready for war against them? Oh, well, actually, no, we're not. <laughs> we need a claim. God damn it. I, I knew I forgot about something. Damn it. <laughs> oh, war religion. What's going on with you, France? Uh, I guess it's the Protestants that are pissing you off right there. Come on, just accept Protestantism. Just accept Protestantism. It would be such such a great move for our relationships between nice neighboring nations. 
uh, Netherlands, you would still join that. France, you would actually still join me as well. Come on, just accept that Protestantism. Wow, that's a large freaking army right there. But uh, since Denmark is pretty much dead, uh, I think we're going to take both armies right here in the south and do against, well, fight against Netherlands. I am going to boost up this army by like four cannons. Uh, more Merkulis, yeah, I'm all good with that as well. Uh, recall that one. Uh, okay, there we go. Our fleet is assembling. Let's do allies. Let's do... One ally, one neighboring country, and the other one shall be free to do what I want with, which is right now hopefully invading Denmark. Uh, control, click, there we go, selecting all our navies. Accept this one, please. Okay, accept that one. All of you gather up, I guess, right there. Thank you. Come on, move along. Gather up right there, seven little galleys. And Netherlands have 12 heavy ships. Hopefully they're going to be focused against the goddamn Dane and not me because, well, otherwise I'm screwed and I won't be able to make them. Uh, you are at war with any one of them. Oh, you attack against Denmark. No, 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 no. You are not going to get any military access from me, goddammit. Uh, come on, come on. That's the claim. Oh, I messed up. I messed up badly right there. So, move that. I'm gonna make my claim. Fabricate claim against Hjelland, I guess. Here we go. As soon as you're not in my land, I'm gonna revoke your access through my land. Come on, just march in. Come on, one more. There we go. Why do you still have forces? Oh my god, they came with some more troops. Come on, just move out my nation. Move out my nation. There we go. There we go. My Denmark. And Riga is right there. So I guess we're doing this war because we're going to save Riga or something. Everyone would join. Netherlands would join. Uh, good relationships. What? God damn it. Really? Really? Uh, relationship. Send insult. Scornful insult. In Brunswick, Denmark is a synonym with manure. Yes! <laughs> All the best insults. There we go. Now we shouldn't get any stability penalties, goddammit. Wow, this little quick war against Denmark became a much bigger deal. There we go, much better. Declare that war, move, move into Helland. Hopefully no one is there. God damn it, Riga, why are you there? Move in right there, take both those nice cities. Okay, you are already being taken by... Commonwealth, that's all good and all fine. Let's make sure we take the rest of it, at least of Denmark, and then we'll see what is left over, I guess. And uh, that's 1,000 cannons extra. We are missing 1k cannons somewhere. Oh god, that's the Navy from, Hol from Holland. Uh, let's see, we're gonna cancel that military access. Everything right here is just being taken out one by one. Oh, you were not actually taken. Let's send in both armies right there and just take that over a bit quicker. Uh, the British Iron subjects, we're gonna wait with that. Was it one marriage with you? Yes, let's make sure we get it. Thank you. And we're fine. Come on, Commonwealth, just end your bloody goddamn war. Because as soon as we take this down, uh, actually Netherlands, if we could force you somehow out of this war, that would be excellent. Because if we force Netherlands out of this war, we don't have to worry about that goddamn navy. And we would be all good. Gain some more sailors. Sure, thank you. And there we go, we have the hog. Uh, we took basically as much as we possibly could. Uh, let's send down that and that. Cancel this. Idea. We're gonna wait until we can get this one. Uh, let's see. Let me surely learn. Uh, surely learn from those of Hess again. More men for our army. Please send me some manpower. That would actually be pretty good. Come on. Wow, a thousand manpower right here. That's awesome. 
So Riga, did you attack this war? Attacker against Denmark, yeah. So it was Riga who attacked this. Both you guys join up over here with army. 22,000 strong. Uh, actually, you can mo move all right there. Just make sure that as soon as their war ends, we can move in and take the rest. Get that one, get the next flint muskets, and get the university. Oh my god, getting all of these top, 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 getting tons of innovativeness, and we're just generally in a really nice shape right now. Wow. Come on, take down Shelland and end this. End this goddamn war. Riga, I really don't want to attack you. I really don't want to attack you. I really don't want to attack you. Just... End the war. Don't take anything. I don't know. Do income or whatever. Just don't attack. You can head off Ice Lord. Cousin come over for Christmas. Bye and happy holiday. Have a good one, Ice Lord. Have a really good one. Hope you have a great Christmas. Don't think you ever... Don't, you, don't think you even can attack Riga. Well, I can attack Riga if they take land from here. Which I would really, really hope they don't do. Uh, let's do this. Let's take that one. And unite. Here we go. Cool. Uh, oh shit, you actually peaced out right there. Uh, let's grab both my armies and make sure we take the rest. Or no, it seems like actually Holland liberated themselves somehow. Let's just make sure they don't liberate themselves too much. Thank you. Go in right there, go in right there. Pre percent. oh my god, we're getting all the good events. It's crazy. Every single event that could be good for us, we're just getting them. And we go leaving that. From uh, I guess I guess I walked into that one, didn't I? We're getting all the good events. And of course, we're getting that freaking stability. One straight off of that. Uh, sending both armies, please, to the capital. Finish that one off quickly. Military access. <laughs> you can go to hell. Just finish this goddamn war. I don't want to mess with you, Netherlands. You forced me to. Several times, you forced me to attack you. I kick your ass a bit. Just because those goddamn uprising events. Again, General 50. Very nice. Thank you. 4 to 4. Awesome. Come on, just end your war. Modest level. Uh, yeah, sure. It's the easiest one to just get away with. Brunswick means big, yes. I think it's literally <laughs> impossible. Wow, really, really trying to tease me to attack Riga? Well, we're not gonna do that. Since this was part of the thing that we were gonna try to help our subs. Help our subs to take to different lands and take to homeland. Like, that's, that's why we're even playing Brunswick, because Jeb is from here. Denmark belongs to Riga. Well, that we can probably be uh, disagreeing about. I think it belongs to dear little Daniel and his Brunswick because he wants more imperial land. Uh, I could, of course, simply take these two because that's two more points for imperial authority. But it, I want to reach Sweden, because to reach Sweden, we just go up right here and grab even more land. Come on, just piece that goddamn nation out. How are you doing? How are you doing? 60% right there. Well, I am going to say like this. Hello, Netherlands. I am going to take all your freaking money. I'm going to humiliate you. I'm going to grab some war reparation. And I'm going to force you to end some rivalries. Uh, am I gonna grab anything? Well, we actually do have a claim on Amsterdam. How good is their little Amsterdam? 
Oh wait, isn't it this? Yeah. Uh, if we remove that money, wow, we still can't take it. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna take it anyway, even though it's a pretty good province. Uh, yeah, I think we're good now. War Persian humiliate. Grab all your money. I'm really happy with that. Thank you. That is gonna be a really awesome, awesome just chest of money for us. No, uh, no, yes, the rest no, and then one manufactory right there. The quicker we buy them, the better it is. How do you add land in the H3? Once I take a land that isn't part of H3, I can press right here and add that land to the H3. So it's a plan that Dan is using regular manpower instead of Dan power. I'm playing with Dan Sailors. Oh my god. I'm playing different games now. I'm playing more different games than before. So <laughs> I'm so, so I'm most of the time forgetting to move this. Uh, let's see. Let's Another just do Send him to like the this. Holy shit! <laughs> Jab, thank you much for the gift and welcome, Dinosaurs, for to the salt mine. Welcome. Hope you have a good time, hope you work well, hope you work 24 hours a day, and bring salt to the community. Have a good one. And as a, I guess as a present, you managed to fix, so... Dear little Denmark, may peace. Oh shit, that was not the point. Uh, there we go. I think Dan Power's fixed, very nice. <laughs> so, f thank you Jeb. Thank you Jeb for the gift sub, and thank you, well, Dinosaurs. And welcome to the salt mine. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm super confused right there. Too many things at the same time and I just... My, my brain just shut off. Uh, there we go. You just march in right there. Grab all of the territories. Oh my god. You managed to get a lot of stuff right there. But we're going to order artillery barrage. We are going to send out the navy. To blockade you as much as we can. Uh, reap the admin benefits. Wow. Yes. No. Yes, we are. Thank you. And send in that. Come on, just more armies, and there we go, Quellan is down, and at 61%, oh, what, 61%? How much more land do you have? Well, I, land I don't care about, at least, that's four, that's five, I can actually grab all of this, we have a slight coalition against us, that's fine, he's from the lowlands, so he protects them too. <laughs> Daniel, uh, Daniel <laughs> rarely notices men, <laughs> that would be enough unless it's mentioned, well, various, that is very true, and I appreciate you telling me about that. Sailors are soldier. Airbus, that is absolutely very, very true. Holy shit. That is very true. Maybe I should keep it at sailors. But yeah, we're just going to grab as much land as possible from Denmark. We're going to remove them pretty much from the map. Really, that was pretty much everything we could grab. Yeah, that's actually pretty much exactly what we couldn't grab. Uh, that's a bit too much. Yeah, I think we're just going to grab this and accept. Thank you. And I think we need to core it first. Yes, we do. So core, 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 core. And we're gonna just accept this. Awesome. That's really, really great. This game is just working with me. I'm getting another camera next to the film first big ape. Oh my god, getting more Daniel Dan powers. <laughs> but the thing is, that would only be for EU4. And I don't know. I don't, I don't want to make one thing for a specific game. I want to keep. I want to have something that can work in many different games. Wow, Denmark, you're not even mad about me? Yet? No, you're barely mad about it. Wow. That's kind of incredible. No, Dani, like, just a tiny bit. Just, just this tiny, tiny bit. That's cool. Yeah, well, well, welcome to the Brunswick Empire. Uh, we're 28% right here. That's very nice. Soon we can get the next one, which... What am I going to get for this, actually? Reduce legacy independence by making the emperor the final legal authority within an empire. We're gonna get more leg legitimacy and less core creation costs. That's awesome. More income. So disallow internal HRE wars. There is where we wanna reach. That's gonna be absolutely great if we could reach there soon. So, we have absolutism right now, we have three people voting for me, then we're good right there. And now I actually want to lose some legitimacy if that's possible. Because then we can boost it up, I think that's prestige, but yeah, I still want to do that one. Uh, let's see, 
that's all the prestige, god damn it, I thought something was... There we go, that's legitimacy, but that's the only one we can't do, damn it. Because if we can't boost legitimacy for 100 military points, we gain 5 absolutism, and that's really, really great. Aristocratic courts, we got number of states instead of minimum autonomy. And I think we're gonna do political absolutism once we can. Uh, we're not gonna become a republic, we're not gonna be a theocratic. Yeah, we're just gonna pick political absolutism and gain that absolutist tick every single year and five more. How do you get to the HRE law? Well, you gain uh, well, you gain imperial authority and then you pay 50 for it and get to the next level right there. Like, do I need more than 50% to approve this or is it just they will get an opinion penalty? I'm not 100% sure how that actually works. We need to see Riga grow. <laughs> soon, Latvia, soon. Uh, first, we have Sweden need to be brought down and I'm, unfortunately we are going to be at war with Riga during that time. But I, uh, we're not going to take anything from them, don't worry about it. Uh, so we're gonna do this. Um, oh wait, wait, uh, no, we're good. Ugh. I was like, wait, is Sweden in the HRE? That would be amazing. But no, they're not. Uh, urban territory, uh, I think we're just gonna get more... No, we're gonna get manpower in Berlin, thank you. Uh, what the hell is that army doing? Nope, 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 we're not gonna have any goddamn revolts going on anywhere close to my homeland. Danish separatism. Oh, they're actually gonna just walk in straight here. Just eradicate them. Thank you. I don't care if you're walking to Sweden or anything like that. I just don't want you anywhere here because eventually you would come to my land. Uh, we're gonna... Actually, let's let's boost Diplopal. I don't think I've ever, ever done this, pretty much. You simply need a majority of the princes to elect a passive reform. There we go. I love democracy. I love the Republic. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so both of you are gonna be ignored. Actually send that guy. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yes, get a claim right there, but uh, let's see, neighboring nations, two of them. Just improve relationship with everyone close to us. 39 princes, that's what I wanna see. Really, Jeb? Really? And of course, well, Latvian, I'm not surprised about you making that quote. Uh, I really want to pick this one, but I, I do want to get, get up right there, I think. Actually, how, how close are we to global trade? Uh, not close at all. And since we're going to be at war with Great Britain, it's not really going to help us, so let's just pick this one right now. Thank you. Uh, diplomatic annexation, yeah, we'll see about that. Protect our trade, yes. Uh, don't know if you know, but don't let the imp authority go way over 50. You lose everything when you pass a reform. Oh yeah, that I know, that I know. As soon as we get to 50, I'm gonna try to fix it ASAP. Uh, but it's only 11 princes for our current thing. Do people have a slight bit too much aggressive, yeah. They have a slight bit too much aggressive expansion against us. We should try to fix that ASAP, uh, let's see. Um, let's see, improve relationships right there. Yeah, we're gonna fire that guy. We're gonna pay a bit more money for it, but it is gonna help us get that aggressive expansion down a bit quicker. And otherwise, we're gonna get a claim right here at Skåne, thank you. We're gonna, we're gonna remove that guy and, damn it, I accidentally removed the other guy. So I want all of my guys just to be, come on. Oh shit, really, really messed up. Both of you guys get to neighboring country. Improve relationship with everyone close to us. And right here, get a state right there. And get a state right there. Make everything into really good course. And then, add to imperial. Add imperial land. Add imperial land. Add imperial land. And add imperial land. And we are at 39 right now. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Sure, we got a slight little rebellion right there. Let's just annihilate them and we are good. 
We're actually really, really good right now. We have money. Uh, we're not that much money, but we have a lot of manpower right now. So we can finally build up that army if we need to, or fight a more long-term war. Uh, let's see, enforce that can't be possible. Grant electorate, we can't, or we can't do anything else. Yes, too bad. Subsidies, no, royal marriage, whatever. Uh, annex vassal, we can annex our vassal, should we? No, I don't, I think we're fine right now. We're good right here. 39 princes still, 40 imperial authority. Uh, let's see, 28 princes for the reform, so we need 10 more and we are ready to roll. Mm. That's gonna be so awesome. Finally the first reform. It took us like 35 years, which is not the greatest, to say the least, but it's not the worst either. If we just can get this by... Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, if we can reach here to make everyone our vassals in the 1700, hopefully. Like, I would love to be there at the 1700. We are gonna be so fine. And we are just gonna send our vassal swarm to take over everyone, everywhere. It's gonna be awesome. So, uh, and I think we are just gonna keep adding more people to all our lands. Uh, so, let's remove one of these guys. And can we declare war against Sweden right now? I think we can. Yes, we do. Uh, let's see, Great Britain and Riga. Sorry, Riga, but we have to do it. Uh, we're going to call in pretty much all our allies, I think, into this. Just because, well, if they land right here or do anything annoying, people will help. France, hopefully invading Great Britain. We could become the Defender of the Faith, but I think that's going to increase tech cost by five. Yes, it does, so I don't really care about it. I think we're good. I think we're good. Sorry, Riga. But sometimes you have to do stuff that you don't want to. Sweden, you attack with... <laughs> I'm gonna let you... Oh, you landed right there. Good. So now I don't have to feel bad about it. Call in my allies. And we're just gonna grab as much bloody land as we possibly can. Oof, it's gonna be harsh, but we need to do it. I want that Imperial Authority, please. Just grab everything right here. Sweden could be a potentially very dangerous enemy. Hopefully they are not that much stronger than me just now. We have a better army. Yes, we do. We have one more, one higher level tech than they do. Sweden, you are usually great. But this time there is only one nation we need to be loyal to. And that's Brunswick. And of course you're in a little coalition against me. I don't really care about it. Sure, let's clear out some bad people right there. Move in right here, take all of this land, and I guess you're just gonna ignore Great Britain. Oh, wait, no, you are marching with 40,000 men right there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, damn it, you're Catholic. I was really hoping you were gonna be Protestant right now. Well, what do you do? Close enough. Oh, by the way, can we do... No, we can't. Never mind. Come on, take down both of those. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna do something like this. Yes, so half that army right there, you move in right there. So instead of having three stacks right now, we're gonna have two stacks of 8k each. Yeah, this is gonna be much better. Kalmar taken, very nice. Please move up to Stockholm and take that down. And I think I just lost, yes, I lost that. Those eight units right there. Damn it, I forgot about them. I completely forgot about my galleys right there. But Sweden, I don't want very much from you. All I really want is I'm gonna peace out you as quickly as I can, dear little... Great Britain, maybe give something to France just to piss, well, basically piss off them. Hopefully I can give just a province to France, so they will e more easily be able to invade them, because I'd rather have one France than two different nations. Uh, especially a France that we are allied with. How, how are you, France? Are, are you happy? Yes, I'm gonna increase the trust between us. There we go, taking that down, lovely. There's one province at a time. There we go, Stockholm is mine. Actually, one thing we can do, I think, refill garrison. Let's do that. Just make sure that we refill that garrison and, well, they can't just retake it instantly. A super, super, super useful little feature you can use. But uh, I barely do. You need, I think, it's 25? Uh, no, it's 40%. Yeah, it's 20 and 40. It's 40% you may refill right there. 
There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweden, I don't want very much from you. All I want is like two, four provinces, something like that. Just accept it and we are going to be all good. Let's see how much are you actually going to... Something like this. Actually, if we could... That is going to form a coalition. Not with people I really care about. Um, if we instead did like this. Try to grab as much land as possible as far away from most people. That would work out. If we like grab that. That would be fine. Especially since that... Oh, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight. Sure, that would be border gore. Actually, not too bad border gore. Hundred percent of them will be like this. Is just giving too much aggressive expansion right now. Like everything would look fine if we just had these two provinces. So we can fix that always very easily later. That would require eighty-three for us. That means definitely we have to pull out Great Britain right now. And hopefully we can use white piece rig or something like this. Or something like that. And uh, moving right there, grab that fort. And let's see, I guess we're gonna go walk all the way right here and grab that fort. Uh, you took that from their little Denmark. Lovely, nice to see. Removing Gotland in, from Danish control. Uh, we could get this one, should we, for a 14% penalty. How are we doing? Nobody really got global trade except for dear little or goddamn Great Britain. Uh, could we actually piece you out right now? Uh, France does not want it, really. But yeah, of course you do. You you want it as vital interest. Never mind then. You even take it as your own occupied. Do you want to grab more land first before you say that you want it? Or something like that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, let's just be fine. Let's be safe. And we'll see about that soon. So 1.5 innovativeness for 200 ducats. And one more yield prestige. Again, church. No, we're going to get that innovativeness. That's really good. Hello, France. Want to wanna grab any land? No, you still don't want it. Are you drunk? I think you might be drunk. Oh god, we actually engaged the Swedish army right here, but we are obliterating it. Very good, very good, very smart of me that I actually split off those armies to make two larger stacks. Otherwise that could have ended, maybe not badly, but it wouldn't have ended very good either. Uh, there we go, just more and more land from Sweden. And uh, I guess we're gonna fight some rebels right there, wiping them out. You're welcome Sweden, I know, I'm graceful, I'm a merciful lord. Just helping you right there. Really? E4 has confused the shit out of you. E4 can be break broken down in very, very easy rules. Always have military tech at a time and have these not be too far away. Like they should be almost equal. 17, 15, 15, that would have been the absolute minimum. Otherwise, always have a, at most two step between them. So always military tech, always earn money, always have a surplus manpower and you'll be fine. Like you won't be very good, but you'll always be fine. Unless you, of course, piss off some large nation that attack you, but like common grand strategy sense Plus those rules and you'll be fine. Kill off those rebels. Thank you. Retake that territory. Nothing is happening right there. Nope. Uh, Great Britain, how are you doing? You don't want anything right there. I can white piece you. I, yeah, if, if you want just white piece, then I'm going to do that. You did that, France. I wanted to give you territory, but you really didn't want it. Grabbing this would make it possible for me to just finish this off and get the first appeal reform in a very long time. So that's definitely what I'm gonna aim for still. Just grab more land, just end this. Riga, can I white piece you? No, I can't. So. Hopefully France will take your capital, so I'm never attacked. 
Riga yet. And if you just end this for me, I will just white piece you and I can finish this war with Sweden. No, I'm not gonna give you any territory right there. You at war with Saxon Landenberg, okay. Ferdinand Princess, we still want to keep a track on that. I don't want to lose any more Princess. I want as many as possible. And uh, you, please walk down right there and make sure, well, they don't mess around too much. You left the coalition against me. Oh no. Uh, ooh, innovativeness. We can get free right there. That makes it worth it, I think. So let's do that, even if we're overpaying for it by quite a bit, actually. Important part, just get that bloody goddamn innovativeness. The earlier you get it, the more of you the more of it you get. Well the better. Everything being cheaper. Every single power cost being cheaper with innovativeness, it makes it just so good, it's absolutely crazy. Uh that's a fort. Uh come on, Riga. Oh really? Really, really, really France, you left Riga. Oh come on. Just clean that out. You move into Riga and take that down. I can't wait for France to do it anymore. Just finish it. Do it. Okay, you are once again moving in right there, but yeah, I don't trust you anymore. And shit, I clicked away right there a bit too quickly. Uh, right here, we're gonna get that uh, political absolutism, gaining some more absolutism. Ab absolutism is gonna give us um, discipline, less cost when coring nations or coring land. Uh, some other good stuff, I think, as well. But uh, I can't remember it on top of my head. I just need some. I just need some of it so I can actually show you the modifiers. I think. Sorry, I have to. I have to laugh here. Yeah, exactly. I'm just touristing right there now. I'm not actually attacking them. I'm just looking around right there. It's France that is besieging them. I'm just looking around right there, having a nice time, and then France just have to be the meanie and besieging them. Okay, that means we can actually reduce this by one, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can reduce it by one. Actually, reduce it by two and grab this instead. Is that's that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's still one more than I actually need. So we can remove that one and maybe we can grab this. That's fixing the border go a bit more. But Commonwealth is pissed at me. Actually, I'm fine with Commonwealth being pissed at me, and that's one more than I actually need. So we're gonna accept that, we're gonna core that. So we never actually finished off anything against Riga. We're still all good and all fine. Riga have nothing to complain about. Send one army there, one army there. Actually, one army, you're gonna be right there, okay? And you're gonna be right, actually right there, because that has fort. Yeah, then we're good, cool. I'm gonna go in right here, we're gonna grab advisor, let's unrest please. And you are gonna core everything as soon as possible, thank you as well. Uh, sure, let's just grab that one now, oh, goddammit. And then we can pick this one, we can become defender of faith. We are so good right now. Uh, let's see, and you're not too pissed against me people in the tree. Yes you are, oh my god, come on! Come on, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even against one of us I killed. Well, last time they accepted it quite quickly and came back to the correct side. So we just better hope they do it again. Diplomatic annexation min cost minus 25%, sure. Uh, let's see right here, we still can't reduce legitimacy by any point, god damn it. Uh, there we go, someone leaving the coalition, very nice. So that's gonna be less corporation cost and more legitimacy for me. Damn it, I kinda don't want legitimacy. They're angry to took rightful regal land. I didn't take any regal land. I took Swedish land, god damn it. None of this were from Riga. Really? 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 Wow, that's like a pretty large stack right there. Uh, you are right there, and you are... Wh why are you right there? I don't think I told anyone to go right there. Come on, just scatter up all my forces right there and make sure we can actually take this down with it without heavy casualties. So, more men on a fort. Acceptable losses. Uh, one army right over there, one army right over there. 
and we're gonna be a-okay don't remember how Riga was the biggest city in the Swedish Empire oh really it was wow that's awesome Embrace Institution let's use Embrace it straight away thank you even if we're close to do finish it anywhere else I don't really care we're fine we're good so one more infamous idea right here uh we should probably upgrade our army i like offensive ideas i also like quality uh let's see offensive quality two other ones yeah uh let's see the first one i think offensive better leaders better command more discipline large armies more siege ability or getting more army tradition actually Oh wow, that's actually really nice. We're only losing one. And with offensive level two, we would actually actually not lose any really. That I like even more. Better troops, slightly better navy might be useful. Sure, let's get quality right there. Better infantry as well. Oh uh, god, are we 39 princesses? Yes, we are, then I don't mind. Grab as much as you want. 45%, uh, okay. So, oh, right, right. What the hell? I'm stupid. I was counting provinces, like, how many do I need to be able to do this? What I do is click, 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 click. Oh, good. We actually have a proper 50 and we can accept the reform. Great, then I won't actually add any more land to the empire. We do the reform. Then we do the rest of the nations. Duh. Of course. And you are a bit too many not voting for me anymore. Why are you not voting for me anymore? Uh, I think we are 6 out of 6. But that's only because of military access. So, And I guess I'm kind of fine with actually losing one Diplo. That's fine. Let's get the alliance. Come on. You did accept it. Yes, you did. And now you vote for me again. Good. Uh, can we get that? No, I'm not going to insult you. I'm going to improve relationship with you. I'm going to make sure we get it as well as possible right there god that, that's kind of scary that could have been really bad product protestant faith very good 46 right there very nice let's see really we need more we need more reformers come on just accept it god damn it yeah i know we have too many right now uh, might be because of this diplomatic reputation minus 1.2 might be because of that we can't actually do it right now so as soon as we record everything right here we're gonna be fine actually Danny when you were in Riga have you seen the Swedish gates uh, I don't think I saw that I well, well no wait maybe 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 I actually did maybe I actually did I don't remember them. It, it is kind of familiar, but not really familiar. I maybe I maybe I did. I saw something Swedish right there at least. <laughs> oh my God! Austria added two provinces. We're not gonna have to add a single province. Are you kidding me? That's so awesome. We're not gonna have to add a single province. We just have to wait a couple months. Actually, I don't want to wait a couple of months. I want to fix it now. Uh, let's see so we're gonna add a couple of states there we go very good we're gonna m make this full course and uh, let's see right there add a single state that's 50 and reform the Hofgerich sure sure uh, so that's gonna be nice oh shit we should have only added one core make this and then that would have been 10% off for the rest of the course. Nice mistake, Daniel. Nice mistake. Luckily, it isn't recorded or shown anywhere. Yeah. Ah, crap. Everything right here is added. Yes, cool. Then we're gonna add the rest right now. There we go, cool. Then we have eight already. A good start. Hell of a good start.
So, hello little commonwealth. Maybe it's time for me and you to have a little chat. Uh, let's get that discipline guy, thank you. But all oh, right, we just switched this. So in 15 years, we can switch that one to military again. again. Damn it. Well, I guess we're just gonna boost this one up. Diplomatic reputation and, wow, one more relation and one more reputation. Two more reputation, actually. Wow, wow, that's actually great. That would have completely negated our overextension penalty. Never mind, that's a brilliant one. That's, it's awesome that we can keep it on diplomatic right here. That's really, really nice. Never mind what I said before. That's awesome. Okay, clergy. Yes. Do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Demand some points. Monopole charters. Recruit minister. Ask for money. Uh, yeah, sure. Ask for that as well. Yeah. Yes. Let's get that info relationship man. Let's hire him as well. Oh wait, that's actually gonna cost 11. That's a bit too much. Even if it is 50% off, it's still a bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> wow, really, we have two of them 50% off? Yeah, it's still too expensive. Um, I was gonna do something, I was gonna do something. Yes, here, government. Strengthen government, gain two right there. So we gain four and core duration uh admin efficiency and discipline right there and slevik ktv thank you much thank you so much for the raid welcome to the stream we're playing some brunswick we're the leader we're the hre emperor and we have just taken another reform right here to well hopefully soon enough take revoke the privilege and we're also playing with the lovely strategy of we're gonna really really squeeze out every ducat of the all of our vessel it's gonna be loads of fun and tons of fun thank you so much for the raid much appreciate that hope you have a good time happy holidays happy merry christmas and everything like that <sighs> okay cool so our next objective can we take the hammer to the commonwealth i don't know can we do that they are bits a bit annoying they're a bit stronger than us but it feels like we kind of need to do something just to welcome all the streamers, all the raiders. Hello, Blondie. How are you, man? Ugh. We're gonna bleed for this, aren't we? We're gonna, like, bleed ridiculously much. I built, a, like, I upgraded Fort right here in Berlin just so we can really just squeeze, squeeze them in right here and really just, well, nail them down right here. We're gonna build up another force. It's only 18 more, but it's still just gonna be very, barely enough. It's gonna be a bit, okay, we're gonna have to do like this. Okay, change that. We're gonna have to fire this guy, get more trade. Nope, 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 no, no. We're gonna fire that guy and get more spy right there. Uh, we're gonna get a claim right there. Uh, full metal, thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yo, uh, you remember from PDXCon? Weird quiz guy questions. Oh my God, it's you, holy shit. You, you cut out all of the questions I had right. You only showed the questions where I was wrong. I saw that video. Damn you, man. Damn you. <laughs> Not even taking a break for Christmas Day. I took a break yesterday and the day before that. This is my day where, well, I guess it's the wrong day for people in America and stuff like that. It's the right day for me. Uh, let's see, you are gonna be gathered up right there. Come on, around, surround that. So let's see if we can finally declare this war. Uh, thank you, gain 18 troops right there. Yes, some additional reinforcements. Thank you. Are we ready for this? Actually, maybe we already have a claim right there. I think we might have. No, we don't, okay. <laughs> have you thought about using better graphics mod? Strabos, really? Better graphics mod? There's a better graphics mod for AO4? I'll look into it the next time. I'll definitely look into that into uh, well for the next time we stream this. Well that's that could be pretty cool. That could definitely be pretty cool. So 18, we're better than you guys. Yes, you are 17. The question is allies and similar things. Would any one of my allies actually join me in this endeavor? I really hope they would. I really hope they will. More like it. 
Please mod, just make it out. Actually, I can't mod this because it, it's Iron Man. It's Iron Man, so I can't do it. Damn it. But I'll look at it at least. Conversion, thank you. Let's make a nice little claim right here at Santok. Let's move that one. There are some nice mods, but most of them fall short. Yeah, like one of the best mods, one of the most well-made mods. I still have to say it. It's the My Little Pony mod for Hoi. 3D models, focus trees, unique tech, unique event trees. It's unique map. It's ridiculously well done. Like I think it's the most well done mod of all the ones we have. Even if it's not my favorite mod, it's fantastic. It's absolutely insane. Latvian, I know my mod is the best one. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't even have to say it. You just quote it right there. Uh, I did not at all say. Read, read it for you. Uh, what? Uh, let's get this one. Diplomatic. So we get two more reputation. Hopefully bumping up the relationship with all our allies. You are not a war with anyone. Oh right, we're gonna check if Muscovy want to join us. In kicking some Commonwealth butt. I think they might want to. Uh, so we're gonna offer them an alliance. It's gonna be slightly over my limit, I think. Uh, oh wait, it's not gonna be over my limit. Because now we can say hello. Let's cancel this military access. Right here. In a couple days. Thank you. Cancel that one. And now when you're back, you should be able to do something for me. Muscovy, I am definitely <laughs> gonna give you something. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna <coughs> abuse you and let you die for me. Yeah. So, um, all right. We can take the burial ban right there. Uh, 200 prestige and 5 percent cost for one. Actually, this one is better then. Yeah, that's just plain up better. Nice. Okay, uh, yes, take you, do that. All of you joining against me, that's fine. Mecklenburg, yeah, I don't really care about you. You're just gonna be absolutely, well, removed from the map ASAP. You joining up right there. Sure, let's call in my allies as well. They may burn, they might not burn. I'm fine with that as well. Yeah, we're good, we're good. You ready? You guys ready? Let's do this. Leroy. No, no that's, that's all mean. That's all mean. Uh, can you take other land than Imperial if you use Costa's Belly? I don't think so. Oh my god, are you kidding me? If I can't take anything else in that, then that would be really bad. Man, I miss streaming so much. Wait, Blondie, you're not allowed to stream anymore? Are you kidding me? What? Or don't you have the correct setup yet? Or something like that? Okay, let's let's be safe. Wait here. They hold them here, provinces. Okay, let's be safe. Let's just do the Conquest CB and we'll see about that. Uh, to get my PC over to my new country first. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's just that. I wow, don't scare me like that. Okay, let's do this. I really don't want to do this because that's gonna cost me so much. It cost me so goddamn much. Mm. Let's build up another army first. Let's just be really, really safe about this. Uh, that's actually gonna be slightly over my force limit, so let's just move to infantry. Uh, Moscow, you want royal marriage? Sure. You're just gonna break it later, so well, it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, that's fine and good. Nobility. We are gonna lose that armor tradition. Sucks, but yeah, better we do it right now. Let's boost up that stability a tiny bit. Assemble an army. Oh, nice. We can actually get that one. Very cool. To improve our armor tradition again. Sunday school. Yep, that's fine. Uh, no, we're not gonna accept that. Let's see. Uh, advice cost minus 50%. Yes, sure, you're gonna be pissed at me, but I'm fine with you being pissed at me for a short while. You're gonna be fine in... A while. There we go. That's uh, you're supposed to be 18. There we go. Now the rest of the troops are joining up right here. Come on, come on. There we go. Join up right here. Group this together. 34th. So now we have a larger army. 
than the Commonwealth, I think. No, they still have a larger mark. 94 versus 92. We finally have more cannons than they do. We have better military tech, hopefully still. Yes, but they can probably pick it at any freaking time. Let's call you guys in and maybe maybe we should actually give something to Muscovy, but we'll probably give something here that they don't really want. We'll see about that. I work for a big, big time publisher now. There is a lot of red tape. Other businesses interest forms having filed and such. Oh my god, that's good blonded that you file it. Hopefully everything goes well. <sighs> okay, can we do this? I think we can. Why am I so god I'm scared for this? It's gonna be alright. Here we go, do this, let's raise some war taxes. And uh, let's see, so you're gonna call in your allies, we're gonna march in right there, you're gonna move in to take this. Just finish this off very, very quickly. Come on, just take one of these pieces, thank you. Let's take the next one. Before anything messes with me, take that city, please. We're gonna attack that one, we're gonna hopefully just bring it down ASAP. Come on. Uh, sure, let's just give you more autonomy right now. Now, very quickly, hurry the hell up back right here. Before they do anything, before they do anything. Oh, good, Commonwealth actually charging into Muscovy. That's gonna give us pretty much free reign over the entire east of the nation. That's gonna be so, so very good. We have a massive, like, advantage right now in pretty much everything. How is actually the goddamn Muscovy army? Muscovy quite far below Moscow is gonna burn Moscow is gonna got that burn and we're just gonna sit back and relax and watch them burn you're gonna go in a bit sad I don't uh, think I'll be back before the stream aids Latvian don't worry about it have a nice Christmas hope you had a good time and I'll see you guys next time uh, I'll see you I'll see you next time not you guys I'm still streaming I'm still gonna keep streaming for a while Uh, there we go, finishing that one off. Very nice. Clean that out. Muscovy, my royal marriage ended with them. And then I'm just gonna let it be. Uh, oh, 30, 38 princess. No, what the hell did you do? No. Oh god, you won't actually accept that even. How dare you, goddamn. I'm gonna demand it. So, oh wait, 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 shit, we actually lose one, I think we lose one Imperial Authority if they say no. Shit, I shouldn't have said that, I should not have left, said no. I should have not sent it, I mean. Well, okay, mistakes we made, let's not do them again. I just want to keep as many as possible, for as long as possible. I don't think I'm gonna act upon it. I just want to make sure they know there are consequences to do it to annex more princess. So um, yeah, Commonwealth have attacked us twice, but luckily all our allies have just sent in their troops and basically saved our army twice. So that's pretty good. And now, of course, when the same thing happens, I just let them die straight beside me. They, oh god, I was way, way, way close, way closer than I would like it to have been and of course you come with another army right now and you're probably gonna kick my ass come on come on okay there we go oh wow wow 53,000 men uh, send in all my armies please uh, all of you guys meet up right there please that's a slightly big slightly too big of an army to mess around with send two of them and the third one is coming in later and luckily just barely saving that holy shit we need to be a lot more careful Muscovy, they are finally cleaning up their land. It seems like Commonwealth decided that we were the bigger enemy, so we should have said that. And way to shine. I ne don't think I said thanks for the follow to you. Holy shit. Thanks for the follow. Sorry for missing you. Uh, Sletsky TV, I think I said thank you for the follow right there. The boy that both died. Thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, full Metal. God, uh, have, I, have I said any thanks for the follow? What the hell? Thank you, Rasmium. Thank you, Full Metal. Thank you, Borer, 101480. God. How, holy shit, how did I miss so many people? That's crazy. Lazy Merchant. Oh, we, right, right. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. We have one guy right there and one guy there sending it all to Lubeck. Okay. 
Let's see, should we take one more guy to send to Lubeck? Uh, yes, we should. We should take you. We should transfer trade power there. Just send even more to Lubeck. Let's try to make Lubeck the center of the world right there with trade. We just need to get more trading ships as soon as we can. But right now our navy is very, very small, so we need to be very careful. Uh, move in right there, move in right there, and let's send an army to Warsaw as well. Try to take this down, take down their capital. Take down the Warsaw City at war. Voices from underground, whispers of freedom. Yeah, whatever, uh, come on. So, sorry, sorry Commonwealth, I'm not gonna, well, sorry whoever it was actually in the south. I'm not gonna save you, but I am gonna gather up all my forces right now for engagement with the entire Commonwealth army in the south. Uh, no, we are not gonna let you marry a lowborn, that's just completely unacceptable. Anyone in my nation? Oh my god, you're actually marching right here. Uh, let's actually send, let, lead two armies. I think it's gonna be fine with one of the armies to clean up the rest of the north right here. God damn it, Commonwealth, how dare you. Uh, actually, would it be fine to just piece you out a tiny bit? Maybe. Uh, let's send up that army right there and that one army right there. Let them try to take back their forts and then we'll engage them when they can't or won't suspect it or something like that. I always play on speed 5. That's my thing. I play on speed 5. I pause a lot, but it should be alright. So we're wiping out that army. Very nice. Uh, peasant in Westfalden, that's pretty far away. I guess we just can accept the petition then. Uh, let's see, unlawful terror. Come on, 39, 39, 37! God damn it, man. Stop doing this. So you are gonna accept that at least. Return that. God, it might have removed it, but that was apparently not enough. That was apparently not the guy. Or do you need to update one month or something? Well, that was apparently not the guy. Forcing down the number. God damn it, now he's forced someone to give it back. Now people are really gonna be pissed at me. But at least everyone is for, uh, for a reform right now. Uh, we're actually out of manpower right now. Oof, that's really not something I wanna see. Go in right here, take that back ASAP, and then we're gonna try to end this war. We're just grabbing as much as we bloody can. Muscovy, good, you're counterattacking quite well. Next time we do this, we're gonna do this with French support, I think. Uh, Mecklenburg, wanna peace out? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll make the peace for you. Let's see, all your money, I want war operation, and I do want you to clear your alliances with everyone. And I guess one rival as well, thank you. Cancel all of those. Get the next Diplo level, thank you. So how are we doing? We're fine still. So let's just stand up right there, help down with that siege, take that siege back, goddammit. Of course you're sending his army straight to the port and, and just circumvent, circumventing my defense. And you actually taking that would be terrible for me. Wow, they're really, really quick right there. So that's what you did. You want to take a boat? No. Don't, don't let him take it. Don't let him take it. Don't let him... Damn it! Really? Wow. Come on, just wipe out that army. Thank you. Now instantly go in and take it back from me. Oh, I can't because their fleet is of course blockading it. Come on, retake that one at least and let me make this peace. Retake it and let me take make some peace. Wow, 85% right there. Uh, and enemies, yeah, they are slightly harassing me right there. Yeah, they're getting a slight bit too many right now. There we go, peace that out. We're at 50%. I'm gonna s just, I think... Screw Muscovy, I don't really care about them. I'm gonna grab as much land as I can. Uh, let's actually do like this. And take coastal land, if we can. Can we take anything else? Yes. Yes, we can right there. Okay, cool. That's horrible border gore. Yeah, we need to grab that one. Actually, we can grab that as well. Cool. Uh, could we get war operation? That's a bit too far away. I don't wanna say no to one of these provinces, so I guess I'm just gonna accept not grabbing. Oh, we can't even grab some money. Uh, a bit pissed at me, but that's fine. Gr let's grab that land. Thank you. Some troops, come on. 
some troops right there some troops come on why oh my god we need to Take it easy. Oh, we became a great power, finally. Wow, that took a while. Uh, let's see. Voting, 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 voting. Yeah, cool. What, what the hell was this? With... Oh, you won't accept that, but there's not any room for it. Okay. Uh, no, what I was going to do was ask for this military access again. So we're going to be one over Diplo relationship. Yeah, that's fine. These guys. One there, one there, one there, please. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for that to actually disappear. I don't want to pay any more than I possibly need to. Uh, Verdon, you want an alliance with me? How are you? We actually diplomatic relationships. Seven out of seven. Really? With that guy? That's military access? Yeah. Well, we could get an alliance with him, but I'd rather get it with one of these guys. They're not voting for me. <coughs> Come on, please say you vote for me right now. Oh shit, now I accepted that lines as well. Did I? Yes, I did. Or did I? Maybe. Well, there must be broke the alliance so we're all good again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an asshole. I'm such a bloody asshole. Uh, let's cancel both of those. So we use Muscovy for the war, we grab stuff only for ourselves. And then we, s well, we just let it disappear. Let's improve relationship with our allies. Just make sure we don't lose anyone. Uh, let's We can't bump up that trust anymore. Let's see. Hassan, you're my vassal. So let's improve that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That was a pretty good war. Not the best I could possibly enact it upon that. I did lose a couple of battles I would have liked to avoid. And no, we're not going to make this just yet. We're going to wait a tiny bit more right there. We're going to strengthen government right there to get two more absolutists. Thank you. So five right there. Come on, just give... Ah, screw it. Let's just do that one. Cool. Uh, we're good. We're pretty good right now. Grabbing Danzig right there. Uh, how are we doing with Princess? 36 only. Ugh. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. I wonder if I can make them into cores. Like, uh, I wonder if I can add the Imperial Land right there without actually fully coring it. Maybe it's enough with just a territorial core. <clears throat> What's interesting when discussing me streaming? Uh, Seeing Paris games right in parallel, unlike Fortnite. <laughs> Blondie, you're talking about maybe spoiling stuff? Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I've never spoiled anything. People just say I spoiled stuff, what I never really had. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I understand what you mean. I really understand what you mean. You just have to be very, very careful about that. Uh, do you keep mercenaries for the next war? Well, I don't have any mercenaries. Why should I have mercenaries? Mercenaries, mercenaries just goddamn expensive. Uh, fort maintenance, what are we paying so goddamn much for? Do you have a level 2 guy right here? No, we don't. So I guess it's just our massive army right now. Really, really. Oh, right. We are paying for reinforcements right now. Uh, maybe that should be fine. Yeah, we're fine then. Cool. Uh, which means I would actually like to do like this. Get some corruption. Yes, so we can take our merchant fleet, which, yeah, I want to I wanna pretty much grab all of this money. Oof, I would like more of that, though. Yeah, I would definitely like more of that. So we're gonna do something like this. There we go. Just build all of these goddamn trade ships. Just keep reinforcing that fleet pretty much for the next couple of years. I just want to grab all of that goddamn trade. Sure, it might be quite expensive right now and my income isn't that high, but gaining that very, very pretty little trade node right here will just bring in all that money for me and will really really pay off in the longer run so let's see can we do it with a uh, partial core yes we can we don't actually need to make it into full cores well I'm still gonna do it because well it's good for me make that into full cores thank you Whew, 
1628. We are not really gaining speed as quickly as I would have liked it. Everyone is voting for me right now. Wow. Every single one is voting for me. Oh, except you, bastard. <laughs> ah, let's see. Heritage Princess, Imperial Land. Well, at least if we keep it over... Okay, let's just see. We're going to keep it over 25 Princess. We're going to keep it at that. We are not going to let it go below it. I don't, like, as long as that is over... Yeah, we're gonna we, we're gonna be fine with this. I could of course attack a couple nations and just break them apart, releasing a couple nations here and there. So we're gonna see. Yeah, that damn power isn't very high anymore. Uh, oh yes, loose legitimacy, awesome, very very nice. So we're just gonna strengthen government right there and gain that. Oh, reduce war exhaustion actually reduces it by one. Holy shit, I I must have missed that before. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, let's accept Danish culture and Prussian culture. And that's going to be really nice for our nation. Uh, let's get this one. I'm losing my great power status. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care too much about it. And with this, let's add a couple states to the empire. For the emperor. And for the empire. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever works. Uh, okay, we're good right here. Sweden. Sweden, Sweden. We still have a truce with you for a very short time, Expo. Uh, wow, you are really losing money. Or, well, you're not losing money, but you have lost a lot of money. Uh, let's make that into a state. And let's make that into a full core. Thank you. So we're paying quite a bit for all of these forts everywhere, but I think I'm going to keep it for a slight bit longer. You did skip uh, whose question? About that it's damn power? Well, you guys talked about that it was damn power. And KSP2? KSP2? What? That, do you keep mercenaries for the next war? What? I'm missing, I'm missing some question right now from him. Any non PDX team you're looking forward to in 2020? There we go. Come on. It, it, it's kind of hard to see a full chat and find one special thing. Any games in 2020 that I'm looking forward to? Uh, Banner Lords, Mountain Blade Banner Lords, of course. Freaking lovely game. I've only played the MP part of it. I would love to play the SP part of it. God, I'm going to play it too much probably. Uh, other games in 2020. Hmm. I know there's a lot of good games I am looking forward to. I just can't get them while well, figuring them out right now. Your chat is pretty slow, to be honest. Yeah, but like, just very quickly find someone's name and read their name when they're not tagging me. Wow. It's harder than you think. <laughs> or oh, I'm pretty suck at this. Uh, cathedral. I would actually love to get that one, but um, it's going to be quite expensive to gain that. So 22, that's better. Still not good enough. Hmm, could we so much squeeze some more out of it? Well, actually, if we did like this, cancel that fully, we gain 23. We gain 17 without it. If we instead... Okay, then we collect from you. Here, in the North Sea, yeah, yes, we click from there, total trade income is 17, becomes 19, even if we get less from here, we gain enough there, and then we take you and instead protect trade in the English Channel, we gain 12, in total for 27. That's much better. And both of you guys, you are in the wrong place. Both of you guys, protect in the English Channel, please. So that's how we're gonna gain all that. Cyberpunk, there we go. Cyberpunk, yes. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Isn't that already Ill released? Or is it like a new version? Cable Space Program. There's gonna be a new one. Really? CK free, yeah, probably. That's pretty cool. Vicky free, well, if we were making it. 
I doubt it was gonna be out then. God, you always try to get that out of people working at Paradox. It's always in every single stream, no matter what it's about. It's just always that as well. Warcraft 3 Reforged. I was really excited about that one, but it has kind of just gone down quite quickly, actually. So yeah, I'm not as excited for that anymore as I was before. Actually, attacking you and breaking you apart, Netherlands, that would be pretty awesome. Breaking you apart as much as I bloody can, that would be actually really nice. The same with you, Bohemia, the same with, well, not maybe not you, but... Breaking everyone apart would be a pretty good CV right now, especially especially with you. Yeah, I'm gonna break you goddamn apart. Hunchback, how are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, you're fine. Sure, you kill a small little other HRE vassal, but I don't care as much about you. If I kill Netherlands, then I can release like four or five people. So send over the army right there, right there, and right there. Uh, I'm gonna lose that money while we're at war with. In Great Britain, of course, but I think we can be fine. Oh, no, let's not get that one just yet. Uh, if we can, it's the 35th. Okay, so in four years we can change that. And sure, since we're at max point, sure, let's get it. And Diplo, 35, let's try to finish this one off as soon as we can. And we really should try to getting a couple more vassals if we can. So you can't improve relationship with anyone more. So oh shit! Now I actually damn it. Come on, yes, reopen that one, please, so I can actually see your chat and similar things. Don't write in chat while well, I can't see it. There we go. <laughs> mm, Danzig, wow, you are really not liking me. Ah, oh, because I'm trying to reform you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine then. Okay, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands, Netherlands. You're actually at war with the Aztecs, so hopefully you don't have very many troops here in your homeland. Great Britain, yeah, you're Great Britain really. Sure, you might be larger than me, but doesn't really matter. Uh, could I release you as, uh, yes, I probably could be. That's not too bad of an idea. If I want to form Germany, well, I could, of course, if I need it, I can just annex it later. But for now, and I also need admin 10. Are we are we good with like diplo relationships? 7 out of 7. It'd be 1 over. That's fine. Getting one more prince in the empire. Getting a bit more money. We're gonna release it. As soon as we can, we're gonna release it. Oh, actually, we gain 2 right here. Yeah, we gain both of these. I wouldn't have to pay for that fort, which is nice. But we'll see. Danzig of War. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> Shouldn't you form the HRE instead of Germany? Yeah, but I'm talking like much, much later. Once we have taken everything. One, like, maybe we'll actually, well, make Germany happen. But I don't know. So we're going to do this. Uh, one on allies. One on neighboring nation. Danzig or core. That's much better. fine yes we are so we're gonna do uh, actually let's just take Gelre that's all right by me let's remove this guy so you would join them and that would be quite dangerous for me honestly uh, all of these guys you're gonna return right here actually you can just return right there make it into one Getting more income, very nice. Getting this one, that's gonna be lovely. Uh, I think I'm just gonna add yearly absolutism. It's gonna be more, this is more directly important for us, but since we are just gonna break apart Netherlands right now, this one's gonna be fine to pick. 
five different promoted cultures. We can't promote anything else. No, not yet. I think we're ready for this. Gonna be a bit difficult, but I think we can do it anyway. We just need to take enough from Netherlands very quickly. Fairly quickly. It doesn't actually have to be very quickly either. Uh, you are basically paper, a paper army. Actually, getting that one would be kind of nice and would give me some... I don't know. It would... It would. I don't know. It f would feel very nice to have it. Thank you. Better troops and... Well, pretty much everything is much better with this level of tech. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. So we're going to not sh see that one, please. No, no, no. All our troops just need to regain some goddamn morale and then we'll see it. <laughs> Give all my land to Riga. Well, I don't think you know how this game works. Yeah, it would be quite a terrible for that. There we go. One more month and then we go to war. Take that. Thank you. And no, we're not going to call in any one of our allies. That's going to be fine. Come on, just wipe out whatever they have. Thank you. Oh god, <laughs> if Sweden actually declared war against us right now, that wouldn't be the best thing in the world. Uh, yeah, let's do harsh recruitment drive, well not harsh recruitment drive, but let's uh, lure them with, <laughs> with uh, economic needs. Or economic means. There we go, let's see how the army size is. Yeah, they have quite a bit more than us, but it's England, it's paper warriors. Knights of pen and paper, pretty much. Let's send in, let's don't let any one of their armies escape or do anything against us. Let's just wipe them out constantly. Just keep their troop number low and no one is invading us just yet, very good. Our income isn't the best anymore because, well, we are losing from here. And of course we don't get that extra there anymore. But I think we're going to be all right. Thank you, thank you. Move in right here. Just continue onwards. Grab everything. Are they invading us? Yes, they are right there. Let's take this army. As soon as you finish that one. Ah, damn it. I clicked a tiny bit too early. Well, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Just wipe out that army. So we don't have any issues with them. Uh, get the last one right there. Should we? Yes, we should. Thank you, Vassal Force Limit, Local Guerrilla, and we get a couple of ideas. And get Advice Cost minus 10%, Aggressive Expansion Impact minus 10%. Awesome. None of them helps me aggressively, but right now we're fine aggressiveness. We like our troops are not great. They're absolutely not great, <laughs> I should probably say, but they're good enough. That's the thing. They're good enough right now for what they need to do. They are sl probably slightly better than our enemies. What the hell? Oh, right, Bohemia. I completely forgot about you. I absolutely forgot about you. Holy shit. That's, that's, not, a, that's not a good thing. You should not forget about your armies or, or your enemies. Because then they might actually take some land that you don't want them to take. So wipe that army out, please. Yeah, Bohemia. Paper soldiers. Paper soldiers. Then just finish it off. And this army actually move back right here. Make sure they... Oh, God, they're actually focusing on my vassal again. God damn it. Like, this guy have not had it easy. Like, so many more wars where I've just left them to die. Oof, I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry, my dear vassal. War after war, I just let you die. No, I don't let you die. I just, well, don't defend you as properly as I probably should be. France, my dear sir, you want to actually join this war? Well, I don't think I want you to join that. I, I like. I want to save those favors for something else. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, moving right there. We take this. You take the lost province right there, and then we're gonna retake everything right there. That's forty-two percent. That's lovely. England just landed. Come on, take that. Oh, damn it. Take it. No. And you take it. Yes, good. But well, that's a normal province, so I don't expect anything else. Uh, wipe out small army first. Thank you. England, are you gonna engage? No, then I'm gonna engage you. And wow, you actually abandoned that siege to let's just fall back. Thank you. 
We are taking this. You actually took that. Nice. Let's just gather up the troops. God, that's actually a free... Wow, a three-star general. Oh, that's horrible. But unluckily for you, all my armies just finished off with all of the random tasks they had throughout the world. So it's time to just unite and bring you down. So first we obliterate that little Dutch army before we go in and bring down the red goddamn cults. Oof. Goodbye, the end. Any questions? Let's just follow these armies all the way to, I don't know, where? Oh, really? You landed with a small force up here north? Send up one of the army, armies, and where the hell are you going? Oh, you're going all the way down there. Well, I'm just going to go right there then. I just wipe out, actually. Runs weak. Uh, let's see. Take down a small Dutch army on the way back. Sure. So that's pretty much cleaned out. Oh good, we're actually capturing them, very nice. Wipe out the, that British army, thank you. Stack wipe. That's a wipe. <laughs> uh, let's see, so go in and take Prague from them. Sure, uh, let's ask for some more men because we're not looking best right now. Uh, let's see, let's go back right there and wipe out the little Dutch army again. Pull this guy downwards. Take, if we take their capital, we can probably piece them out. So let's do some artillery barrage. Uh, yes, we're going to become the defender of faith right now. Just so we get that 5% extra morale. Because I feel like we're probably going to need it right now. Holy shit, that's a lot of forces suddenly forming up right now. Hmm. We are probably going to need some more men. We need more men. There are none. Well, actually, there are quite a bit of them. So we're gonna gather up right there. Just don't let them take any of the forts. That's the important part. Uh, actually, both these armies go in right there. Clean up that. Oh, really? You're gonna... Wow, really? I didn't think you would actually gather up right there. Let's just fall back. Let's just fall back very quickly. Let's just wipe out that extra army. I really thought you would keep the sieges. But, well, I do want to attack you if there is a siege. And while well, we don't have that goddamn river penalty, then I would have taken that fight because now, well, we just wiped them out. All of those armies. No problem. So get up right there. How are we doing? Uh, you want to say favor with France or why don't you call them in? Yeah, I want to say favor with France. I want to be a bit stronger with them. And, well, right now, honestly, for this war, I don't need them. I, I just want to break them apart. I don't want to grab a lot of land. I just want to be kind of safe. That's a large freaking rebel stack right there that's gonna harass Netherlands quite a bit, most likely. Uh, let's see, you take take that goddamn capital right now. Come on. As soon as that happens, this war is gonna be so much easier. There we go, thank you. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna sue you for peace. Can we break you apart? No, we can't. Hmm. Well, one thing we can do is say, hello, war. Well, war taxes. Uh, we can make you break a couple of alliances, and with a, some of them, I mean like a lot of them. That's pretty good. Actually, wait. Hold your money, and then... Well, I do want you to break with Netherlands, and I want you to break with... Well, actually, it's really just Netherlands. I do Netherlands and Switzerland, because Switzerland would be nice to me, and I wouldn't like to piss them off. Uh, Sir Jeb, have a good one. Sorry I missed you when you left. Hope you have a nice time, and see you later. There we go, break that apart. Thank you, Brunswick. Now all your armies are not, not part of anything. Uh, we just slightly head right there, but Netherlands, come on. There we go. Can we make some kind of peace with you right now? I just want to release a couple of nations if we can. Like, that's one, that's two, that's three. Okay, that's three nations. Actually, that's... No, that's far, far ahead. Uh, far far ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's do war reparations. We could humiliate them No, that's too much and release those. Oh wait wait what? That's much better then that's gonna be free of them or That's gonna be free of them free nations. Yes, so we can can we move war operation and still gain this no Okay, we can release two nations. That's what we can do. Okay. So 13%, okay, 20% and 
There we go. That's releasing two nations. War reparations. That's fine. Can we get humiliates instead? No. War reparations. And then some money. It was costing me a tiny bit too much to stay in this war. It's really just costing me manpower most of it. So we're releasing that. And can we send them a warning or something like that? Are we strong enough to actually be able to do it? Uh, I don't think we are. What is it? Uh, influence? Send warning. Yes, there we go. Warning against them. Actually, let's gather up all my forces. Split, split. And split, so we have 420 stacks instead. Should take a bit less attrition in next war. <sighs> okay, we're good. That was a pretty good war. Releasing two more princes. Actually, we're missing an elector right now. Wow, really? We're missing an elector? Every, anyone would pretty much accept that. Hmm, who should we give Elector status to? Can we give it to my vassal? No. <laughs> uh, you are an Elector, you are an Elector, and I can very easily get you into line if I need to. Uh, actually, Pomerania? No, no, you have been pissy against me. Augsburg, you are getting independent of Brandenburg. I like you. You can be an Elector. And you're voting for me. Lovely. Everyone is voting for me. Very nice. Uh, 23 right there. Lovely. But we need a tiny bit more if we want to get the next one. And that's going to be a big one. Gaining more income. Well, that's actually not going to be a big one. Next one is the big one. And I know this is part of my hair has been like missing the entire stream. That's better. Now, now, and now my unicorn shirt is slightly showing. It's like I, the I will cut you shirt. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. God, we're missing a lot of manpower. Oof. Okay, Emperor's dead. Excellent. Uh, I don't know about the excellent. That was a really good Emperor. But since everyone votes for me, uh, we have a lot of admin points actually. I'm gonna bump this up to stab 3. That's something I barely ever do, but felt like it was something we can do right now. Let's bump up that military might now. Because we're done with Diplomatic, right? Yes, good. Maybe I should have double checked that before changing. Yeah, we're really nice now. We're in a pretty goddamn good position. It would have been super, super nice if we were just a tiny bit stronger. Just more manpower, more income. Just in general a bit stronger. And of course, a couple more steps right here in the reforms. But in general, I'm pretty happy with where we are right now. And um, why is not anyone vote for me? Oh, because we don't have a legal heir. Ah, that's fine. That we can fix quite soon, hopefully. How old are we? We are 40. Oh my god, that could have been horrible. Uh, let's see, we cannot let people in America. Yeah, we will, we will support America, goddammit. America! America, fuck yeah. Okay, let's see. Of all our allies, do we have royal marriages with all of them? I really hope we do. Well, everyone we can at least. Yeah, we do. We need something new. We need to get a goddamn heir. Uh, can we change? Can we do anything? Can we just throw out a couple of royal marriages just in case? Muscovy would be nice to be allied with you again. There we go. That's a consort now. Just get me a child, goddammit. Get me a goddamn child. Milta theory, very nice. And that's American independence, right? No. That, oh, well, actually, 13 colonies. Uh, we'll see. Compensate the traders. Wow, that's a lot of money. Well, I am gonna compensate you anyway. Wow, we're actually taking a lot of that income. Oof, oof, very nice. Did you know your face is ducats? Come on. 
Just need to switch, put this one a tiny bit more to the right. That should be better. Uh, let's see, invest the ideas. There we go, getting the armor traditions right there. And now we should basically be at plus minus. Oh, actually, we're still earning armor tradition at 82. That's brilliant. That's really, really brilliant. So let's assign a couple generals right now. And then just do a bit of exercising. Because I think we are at force limit or very close to it. Yeah, that should give me some nice army professionalism. Uh, how are we actually doing with Diplo right now? 8 out of 7. Hmm. I just lost the goddamn Emperorship. I just lost the goddamn Emperorship. That's painful. That's really, really painful. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ugh. Now you're gonna freaking waste all my Imperial authority. Oh my god. You're gonna waste it by improving relationships and stuff. Oh my god, that's absolutely terrible. Yes, get that diplomatic relationship again. Let's see. You are already voting for me. You are not voting for me. Let's send it right there. I think we need an heir for them to actually back us even more. Oh, the guy I gave. The guy I freaking gave the electorship to became the emperor. Yeah, yeah. They won't back me because they're all the emperor, yeah. So, who is backing me? Magnum, you're backing me, but why, why the hell are some of these not backing me anymore? I'm gonna offer a freaking goddamn alliance. I'm gonna pay the Diplo points cost. I don't care what I need to do to be able to become an emperor again. We have one vote. We need more. We need more goddamn votes for this. We need three votes to be able to get this properly up and rolling. You, we have one vote, we have two votes, we need three votes. And we have an air right now, that's good. That's one step. So we're trying to improve it right there and right there. Actually, no, right, both of these. Both of these we're trying to improve. Okay, that's good. Royal marriage with anyone? No, we're just getting improved relationship right there. Uh, build palace, uh, yes, get that legitimacy up. And holy shit, we can get that legitimacy up, which means... Just yes, strengthen government. Yeah, sure, we're paying military points for that, but that's definitely worth it. Let's get that legitimacy up as high as we freaking can. Military leader left. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, let's get this guy. How are we doing with this war? Savoy and Salzburg. Yeah, you don't really need my help. Franz, I don't know why you called me in. I uh, guess I'm gonna send an army right there, an army right there. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Oof, that's costing me quite a bit. Oof, just barely saved that one. Let's keep one army there, one army there, and yeah. God damn it, really? Really? Now I can't stop playing. I can't stop playing, I need to be the emperor to stop playing. Uh, God damn it, can we just kill you off somehow? <laughs> this is not goddamn CK2. We're so goddamn close to the next one. Don't screw this up, man. Don't freaking screw this up. Can I kill them? If I kill them, what happens? Can I even get a claim against them? I don't think so. There will be a no CB war. If I kill them, then they won't be the Emperor. <laughs> that's one thing that's bloody god, I'm sure, at least. Uh, so, I don't need to improve your relationship anymore. I could look right here. But they are really nice relationships with me. 
I would not actually like to lose that one. <sighs> God damn it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Courtier Free, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. But God damn this game now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what can we do, what can we do, what can we do with the drunken sailor, what can we do with the drunken sailor? Uh, oh my god, why? Why did this happen? Well, if you just get the next one, that's fine, but... God damn it, man. Have a, have a early death. Have a very early death, please. You're a duke. Are you a republic or something? No, you're administrator. Dutch, god damn it. You can't become the goddamn emperor if you are. Um, yes, I'm gonna defend you, god damn it, even if I don't want to. Or actually, it might be your planet. Okay, it's your aggressive war, but whatever. I'm gonna send an army right there, army right there, army right there. If I just take it. Then at least they can't take any one of those territories. Fellowship right there. Is guaranteeing Brandenburg, yeah. Well, at least he was. Well, he actually broken that, goddammit. So he's not guaranteeing that anymore. One point four K. Now we have actually good amount of money. Let's just build a couple of these places. Just to increase a tiny bit more. All the income. Yeah, just give me all this goddamn income. By the way, aren't we? Yeah, we're like 12 above limits. We're paying 11 for that. And we're still earning 23 ducats a month. What the hell? That's absolutely crazy. We're earning so much money. And actually, since we were earning so goddamn money, we should have gotten built army camps. <laughs> Lol. Well, that's fail. Uh, mistakes were made. Uh, let's just get a bit more corruption right there. And at least start getting these army camps. Just a bit here and there. Uh, take the blame and move on. Lose one stability. Well, I guess we're just going to take the blame and move on. But we're not going to unpause because we're going to grab some more corruption right now. Uh, we're going to reduce inflation. Uh, hopefully that did not actually reduce my absolutism. Uh D-base currency. Oh wow, actually D-base currency reduce it. Oh my god, that's that's failed. Uh, let's improve it there. Now we're back at 21 at least. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I am all good right here. Yeah, I'm all fine. I fixed this. So there, 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 and there. That's our armies, and that's how we're gonna stand and wait for the next order. We have 800 admin, so we're gonna boost up stability a tiny bit right there. All right, now I remember why I weren't gonna boost up strength and legitimacy because we did have some more quality ideas to do. God damn it! Why we stopped? <laughs> why have I stopped uploading CG2 videos? Well, I had my great campaign of the Immortal Cannibal, and then we updated the game like twice because, well. I wasn't in the time of streaming, I didn't feel like streaming and playing CK2. And while that, the game updated twice and the save game broke and I felt really sad about that so I had a hard time starting it up again. I was thinking maybe I could recreate that save and redo some CK2 videos because it was kind of fun to play like the immortal cannibal that just ate all of his enemies and had Aztecs and Mongols fight. If... Yeah, it was kind of insane. It was kind of nice as well. So I was thinking of maybe recreating that eventually, but uh, we'll see. I demand the CK2 save, otherwise there will be a rebellion. <laughs> a new CK2 save, wow. That would be at least better, but... Um, we'll see, we'll see. New save or riot. Very nice. We always had a friend in front. Okay, we have four people voting to me right now. So just goddamn die. He's not gonna die in forever, ain't he? Yeah. He's gonna just live there forever and I'm just gonna cry about it. He's probably gonna be like 99 or something. Why not wait for CK3? Because, well, who knows when that's going to be released. 
I don't know. I'm not in the team. Uh, Netherlands, you mark me as rival. Yeah, 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 whatever. Come on. You goddamn emperor, die. That's very pissy. That's very sad. Uh, let's just get that inflation done. God damn it. Wow. Well, uh, actually, wait, we could pay for him. If we just had some well, less inflation, I guess. Uh, let's see. Corruption is still quite high. Let's. Pay that off as soon as we bloody got them can. Let's just spend a lot of money paying that off. Sure, we took it because we wanted temporary money, but yeah, we still have to pay it off for the long term wise. France, we need a new alliance with you, please. Or a royal marriage with you. Same alliance still. Let's boost up trust twice there. 73, that's very, very nice. Uh, let's see right there. Anyone we could. Uh, let's do like this. Allies, please fix that. Other guy is still gonna be under my personal control. Regas and Chrome, but Chrome smaller. Well, have they really? I'm not sure about that. I think they've been kind of this size for a very long time. I mean, it's fixing to share again. Well, welcome back, Lefty and Tanker. Yeah, I'm still streaming this, and I feel like I can't really stop this stream either. We can't stop it while we're not the Emperor. So we're just speeding through the game right now. We're just really hoping on this guy dying. Like I'm partly, partially thinking of just, well, invading him, taking him over. Because if I remove the Emperor, then that could be fine. Oh my god. Hmm. Let's see. What get now? You are not ending stream before Riga becomes larger. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. That's a bit more difficult. A slight bit more difficult. Uh, free advisor slot. I would really like to pick that guy, but... Okay, let's do like this. We're reducing that one to... So we're still earning 11. Then we pick this guy, so we gain a lot more admin points. And we're paying off that inflation that we currently have. Win-win. That's a win-win. Oh. Quality. Yes, we should probably pick it. Our next air is going to have average, really. There we go. This is kind of sad. This is really sad to see. Uh, wait, you're done right there. Come on, die, you bastard. Like, I don't dare to invade anyone, because what if they start voting? Uh, oh my god, no, don't die right now. Go, don't bloody goddamn die right now. If you die right now, we're not actually gonna get it. Wow, you are almost voting for me. Actually, you are voting for me if you were not the emperor. Uh, why are you not voting for me, man? Vote, vote, vote. So why are you not voting for me? You have a better relationship with them. How in hell do you have a better relationship with them? I offer you military access. Ah, oh, close but no cigar. Uh, how can I improve it a bit more? <laughs> 
I can send you some money. I can send you some money. Money, money, money. You love money, right? I can send you 100 ducats. That should be more. That should be 200. That should be supporting me now. Uh, your faithful ally is requesting that I come to their aid. Sure. I'm gonna aid you as much as you need. Wow, I can't actually send my army anywhere. Let's just send in lots of stacks right there and save that then. Okay, ev now we have four people vote for me. Very, very lucky. Uh, let's see, you are fine and good. God damn, we really, really, really need to fix this now, somehow. Come on, you just bloody goddamn die! Now, now, quickly. Quickly before anything else happens. There we go, that's fixed now. Can we send over troops right here? Yes, we can, then we're gonna do that. Let's see. Come on, then switch map mode right there, right there, right there, and right there. Probably all the places they're not besieging just yet. Your legitimacy too low. My legitimacy is low. Are you kidding me? Oh, actually, yeah, that actually is quite a big difference. Hmm. I guess even though we haven't picked all of these things, we should probably just boost up legitimacy then. To 100. Good to know, good to know, thank you. Uh, let's see, I tend to divorce the consort. How dare they? Whatever. Come on, uh, let's boost that up. That's 93. That should definitely help us. Yes, that's actually helping us quite a bit right there. Maybe a Diplo Advisor. Yeah, that we could definitely do as well. If there's anything else, yeah. One, two, three, four. God damn it, die, you bastard, die. We're besieging down most of it. Let's return now. Still 37 princess, very good. I think it actually went up right there. One, two, three, four, we declare some more. <laughs> Come on. Uh, how much money are we actually, how much over force limit are we? Actually quite a bit still. Uh, we should really try to fix that. How much until we can ask for this? 49, three more years before we can ask for more money. Okay. Uh, we can reduce that one, corruption. Yes, there in a bit more. And let's temporarily do this. Reduce our maintenance by a crap ton. Hopefully no one will attack one of our stacks. That would be really, really bad. But I think we got this war under our control. Uh, Musk, we want to declare war against Sweden. Yeah, that's fine and good. I don't really care. Let's see. Get that guy. Just really start building up these force limit buildings. One, one, a part of me just want to boost up corruption like a ridiculous m much, but... I can't. Uh, sure, let's get more infamous. Some people are gonna be mad about it, but yeah, I don't really care. People are still happy with me, yes. Die, 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 die. Come on. Get the next one right there. Oh my god, we're so far behind killing grounds now. <laughs> they both died. <laughs> Nice nickname, perfect right there. 25 prestige, oof, that's harsh. That's very harsh to lose that, especially now. And we also lost the Diplo guy, oh my god, double trouble. They are still barely voted for us. We need, we need prestige, we need some goddamn prestige now. The claim war against you would be fine, the claim war against Commonwealth, that would work out, and France would join us. France would bloody join us. That's probably the best thing I've heard in a while. We just need to make sure we have a proper claim right there. And that would give us a lot of prestige.
Who are actually our rivals? Netherlands, Great Britain, Sweden. Uh, oh, I can't say anything for Hungary. War, yeah, of course. Alternate uh, royal marriage. Let's make that happen again, please. Uh, remove that guy so we can do whatever we want. Make that marriage happen again. Thank you. Anyone switch to <laughs> become proper so I can royal marriage you guys? Nope. Not freaking yet. I can royal marriage the emperor, but well, that I don't want to. I want you to die. It's 44. How old am I? I am 30. Yeah, that's fine. God damn it, I just wanted to clear war. I just wanted to clear a freaking war first against Sweden, then against the Commonwealth, grab tons of land, and then get to the next level. How can I have been so goddamn unlucky with losing the Emperorship, having my heir die, I no, oh, well, having me die, then me die again at a pretty goddamn young age. Well, 40-ish. Well, he was 40-ish, come on. How, how about you dying now? No, 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 of course not. You're AI. Your leaders live forever. <laughs> not not that happy anymore with this stream. <laughs> pretty, being, being pretty goddamn salty. Okay, uh, let's get this force limit up and rolling. Two more steps, actually three more. Just getting force limit now is gonna give me more income than anything else. Just because I'm so, so, so very high above that. Limit. Uh, the limit I got as emperor. We're still paying four above the limit, yeah. Gaining 17 ducats now. Will there be regain the possible MP? <laughs> Are you gonna try to form Prussia? No, we're probably not gonna do that. We're gonna stay loyal to the Emperor ship as soon as we get it back. Come on. Three, four people are voting for me. Die. Die, you bastard. Gaining 20 favors. Yeah, that should be pretty good at keeping you loyal to me. Uh, boost this up to like ridiculous degrees. Boost it up, boost this up. Maybe favors can also be somehow counting to how loyal they are or something like that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting so desperate. It's just absolutely insane. Uh, should we boost that up? No, we should really get the next military tech now. God, I'm, I'm losing so many years right now. I'm losing just year upon year upon year because you simply won't die. Forty-six. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove. I I, I need to do something now. Holstein, how about you getting removed? Wait, I just got a pop-up saying that commercials will now be played when people are popping into my stream. Oh, that's gotta be about the update. If a commercial is run, then it got, becomes commercial free for new people to join the chat. Join it. Huh. Weird. I haven't run a commercial. Maybe it automatically did it for up to two hours or something like that. Maybe. Huh, maybe I shouldn't think about that. It would be nice if people actually joining in didn't actually have to see a commercial before joining in. Oh shit, what the hell did I do? Minus 50 relationship with someone. I improve relationship with you and with you if I can. Uh, let's get, in, get another claim right here. Just very quickly again. I don't really care what. Change that, change that, and you. Come on, just improve that relationship as much as we can. He's he, like, it's the, the vote that matters. It's the most important vote. Just dying. You know, 
infamous. Yes, more infamous, more infamous. Wherever I can get it, please give me that. Here we go, getting that one. We include this one by as much as possible. This one can still be oh open. Uh, let's see, could I say you want some money? I guess. 76 right there, very nice. Uh, currently the province, yes. Sure, we lose some temporarily, but it's really, really good. Just removing that influenza ASAP. And I think we have enough money now to build the two lots remaining. I mean, actually, maybe three lots remaining. Whatever, let's build a third one. Uh, two more base production, very nice. Come on, come on, one more month. There we go, thank you. Now we're gonna boost up the army maintenance again. Ready, ready ourselves up for war. Because it's we need to do it. We can't just not do it forever. Come on, die. Die now. You're 47. I think I have a decent shot at dying now. Alright, we can't see it. We can't see it, I think. Gain 50 prestige, yes please, here we go, 100, 100, yeah, that's giving me some stuff, very cool. <sighs> hope you had a good day, yeah, I hope you had a good day too, Taffy. Locate ports, Austria, yeah, sure, maybe I should just attack the Commonwealth right now. Commonwealth is a good war. Fro wait, what? France, your ally, the Commonwealth? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. They would have joined me before and now you allied them. Okay, is there anyone else? Netherlands. Are you allied with the Netherlands? I doubt you can be. No. You're not allied and France is allied. Okay. So we can get rid of the Commonwealth by declaring war against Netherlands and then calling them in. Okay. I like that. I like that option. But that would be a war against a to remember and I want to wait with them until I'm actually the Emperor god damn it god damn it really diplomatic re reputation that's mattering ma mattering so much now uh, fire that guy I need a diplo rep guy diplo rep yes thank you Trade protection against Austria, whatever. I don't really care. Come on. Die now. <laughs> I never wanted anyone to die as much as I want right now. Come on. Just leave now and never come back. Like, we are not gonna get the, there at the 1700 anymore. Just losing the emperorship screwed with me royally much. Like, not even funny how much it screwed with me. Seek support for the clergy, yes. And then we're going to stream for government a tiny bit. Thank you. Then we're at 100 again. Why are you not extremely happy with me? God damn it. Love me, please. Just die. If you died, then I don't have to worry about emperorship problem anymore. Like, everything is fine. If I'm just emperor. It just gives me so many bonuses. I... It gives me the bonuses I need to be safe of being the Emperor. We're fine. We were so fine. Rival announced. Yeah, sure. That's all good. Come on. Plague. Yeah, just throw money at the problem. And now we're going to get a freaking loan, I think. No, we can actually ask for money right there. Good. Recruit Minister. And then ask for crap tons of money. Thank you. How are you doing? We're still fine. We're fine with the very edge. <sighs> Same culture drop, large nation. Reputation, prestige is helping me, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Invite him to the court and imprison him. If I could, I would if I could. I very much would if I could. Oh, you sent me a gift that really improved your relationship with me. Or something you did pissed everyone off. Oh god, that's nice. 
Uh, could I actually make like a humiliation war or something with you? That would be quick and easy. You're barely an allies. I don't know, maybe. Uh, shit, what's going on? We have tons of admin points. I guess I can just do like this. Local tax modifier. Get up some more taxes right there. Thank you. I am very much appreciating that. Oh god, as soon as, like... As soon as we become emperor again, wars are going to be made. Wars are going to be sent out on all sides. And we're just going to bring everyone down with us. Well, not actually with us. Everyone's going to be brought down to bow over us. Actually, if you did the next reform, it would be even easier for me to become emperor. Oh god, no, you did something that pissed everyone off. And now you can't do the next even if you had enough reputation. <sighs> Come on. Be assassinated or whatever. I don't really care. <sighs> Master of Mint. Like, I'm so locked in. I can't do anything until that happens. Uh, let's actually get that admin guy. Is that Venice in Ancona? What? Yeah, that's Venice. <laughs> Spain has invaded right there. Spain got invaded by France right there, but they took that instead. Uh, wow. Yes, we. I guess we just gotta accept that. Right there, right there, right there, and right there, I think. It's the best provinces. Just siege down their entire lines, just instantly. Well, we don't have a leader on a couple of these guys, that's really bad. Actually, on most of those guys, we don't have a leader. Let's just send that guy there instead. And hopefully just take down their entire lines with one quick stroke. Everyone still loves me, everyone that needs to love me still love me so that's important and now we don't have any leaders got them slowik 79 thank you much for the follow much appreciate that welcome to the stream now we're gonna get this one actually none of these are better no we're good there we took one of these places thank you let's see who else are we oh, with right there our troops should be superior enough so we should be kind of fine with most of these just random <laughs> armies we're sending away in different places uh, you can actually be right there and let's just do that to bring that line uh, fort down <sighs> you're all good with me still they will pay for the treachery of course <sighs> die please So we are ending these wars as quickly as we bloody can. Only one nation left. Well, one nation actually, actually matters. Actually the main enemy. And want to take Anhalt, well that's also controlled by you so you shouldn't be complaining. There we go, oh, come on, come on just finish it off. Don't give me any territory. I really don't want them to give me any territory, but because then people are going to be pissed at me. But I don't want to give them the territory, because then they might actually grab more of them. I want a pretty strong enemy, or strong, strong Saxony beneath me. Let's take that one, thank you. Then I need to hide the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, please. Give me that. Uh, God damn it, they gave me... S no, they didn't give me land. Good. <laughs> First of all, I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see. Let's get a couple of these admin centers. Just bump up the income. Whatever it costs you right now, even if it's not worth it by the end game, I still do it. Just because 
it's nice to have that dump right now, so it will sustain me for a long time later. I really don't like you sitting on a pile of cash. Come on, bastard, come on, die. Consort with people, Shh. gain fire legitimacy, consort with people, sure. Uh, let's get a little claim right here in Amsterdam. Anyone not vote for me that needs to be voted for me? Nope, everyone is all good. I guess I can always send the guy right here and look through relationships. Come on. I took out a loan, whoops. <coughs> Maybe that's actually reducing my reputation. No generals, no cry. <laughs> really, I'm no generals? Oh my, no, I won. There we go, now we're free of them. And we gain manpower while disbanding. That's actually a reasonably good one. If I had that one, I pr would probably have disbanded part of my army, but since I didn't, I kept it. Uh, courtier, yeah, but it also costs like a crap ton more and takes a longer time to build, so. It's probably still worth it, I know, but um, I, I want that direct income increase. Uh, let's see, Netherlands, you can. Yeah, Netherlands hate me, goddammit, I don't care. 8.75 to 9.11. Pretty good bonus right there. Die. Oh shit, I think their air died just now. Because something ha. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, off with his head. I don't care. I don't want to lose prestige. <laughs> I'll do anything. Just I don't want to lose legitimacy or prestige. Will you accept the next one right here? No, only two princes are for it. One, two, three, four votes for me. God, this becomes a pretty long goddamn stream right now. Uh, yeah. Support that. Uh, let's see, how close are we to actually accept this? Oh, we just need money now, so let's just save up that. Oh my god. This is crazy. And I died, of course. Let's get some royal marriages. Yeah, I died. I died before that guy. And now we don't have an heir again. And people are not voting for me. Because I don't have enough legitimacy. Let's just spend everything we need, everything we have, into this then. Uh, oh my god, they are just voting for me again. If he would have died there, I would have just simply halt that fort or something. I don't know. It would not have been a pretty sight. It would not have been a pretty sight at all. Oh my god, really? That was where the rebels went? I was looking around a tiny bit and just didn't see it, so I assumed it was nothing. But he just passed through my lands. One more vote? What are you kidding? One, two, three, four. I have four. I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. And let's boost up one more time right there. Lovely, getting that absolutism high. It's nice at least. Come on, just give me the emperorship and I can declare war again. We're waiting for like 20 years now. You can't even do the next reform because you, people hate you. At least I'm 19 now. I have a shot at getting an air. No, oh, by the way, we pay that long. Get the next one, they flow right there, thank you. Sure we paid a bit extra, oh god. Right, we could have just waited for money and get this one. Ugh. I'm not thinking straight right now. Just die, please. 
I want to make tons of that because that dying now in the stream. We should have a counter, die counter. Because I'm dying slightly inside of me right now. Getting that Imperial Authority too high. Oh wow, that we don't want to do. New mark. Send in the army. Of course we're gonna crush them. Oh good nobles. Six, I lost 600 men. Better luck next time. Uh, France won't join, that's actually really nice. I declared war right here. France wouldn't join there either. I declared my war. France would join me. That's how we do it, just because of the trust. Let's boost up even higher. Let's guarantee a bit, quarantine that land a bit more. Maybe just start a plot to kill him if I could. I would if I could. Uh, let's build a spy network. And let's see. Sabotage reputation. I need 60 for that. And that will secure me. Even more, yeah. Come on. Dresser Princess, I know he's kind of sucky, but just accept it. It hurts. It hurts me just sitting here and waiting to become the Emperor. I don't want to risk it and be in a war when I can't do anything or when someone gets involved in a war and they stop voting for me or something like that. Just, I want to play it safe, I want to have a nice time. Just die right here. Personal. Yeah, if I die, then yeah, that, oh my god, that's probably gonna happen to me. Screw it, we're gonna declare war just to make sure that that absolutely does not happen. Let's take that guy back. Declare war against Netherlands, we're gonna call in France, call in most of our allies. Yeah. Uh, by the way, could we get Mus- Oh, Muscovy has broken apart completely. Ottoman, Perm, Muscovy. Sweden expanded. Wow, Commonwealth is just kicking butt right now. So declaring this war against Commonwealth would actually probably be really, really bad. Ooh, that's scary. That's actually really scary. We're 20. We are also 20. I would like the next one before that. Uh, okay, let, can we do a smaller war against someone? Great Britain and Perm would join. But Great Britain we don't really care about, but uh, they could join up right there very easily. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone we could declare war against and just be safe? I don't think so. I actually don't think so. Norway? Norway's a pretty good one, but France would actually join that. Wow, because you're a defender of Catholic faith, right? If he dies, then that would be the same. 56, his heir died before him. I have made royal marriage to everyone, right? Everyone I can. Yes. Yeah, I've done my royal marriage to everyone I can. You're freaking 19, have a freaking baby. No, I think I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. He's not gonna die right now. He's just gonna be all good. Riga, yeah, Riga is also being reduced in size. Hamburg? How are you, man? The Emperor would protect them just because they don't have a claim. Otherwise, it's Riga and Bremen joining them. I can remove you. But I don't really care that much about removing you. I would like to remove either Holstein or... Verden, but they're allied with me, you're not allied with me. Who? I'm at war with Salzburg and Austria. Okay, let's send in the armies like this. 
and you can be reinforcing. Everyone still likes me. Well, we have four votes now, not you, because you're voting for yourself now, somehow. Why, why are you voting for yourself? Are you stupid? Well, we have at least four people voting for me in another way, but yeah, I'm fine with that. I improve relationship with you quite a bit, please, Brandenburg. I know you hate me, but for now, you're good enough. Helping as much as possible right there. Bring back Big Riga. Yeah, if we can. Yeah, definitely. Come on. Come on, just die. How can he not die? 57. That should be at any freaking time. God, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun when they die. And, f like, make a new reform. Invade people. Sweden's gonna be, just be crushed. Save that army, thank you. <laughs> Barely lost anything. Just the sight of our troops made the enemy flee. <laughs> Feed Riga. Well, we are gonna get them as a vassal eventually. Don't worry about that. One way or another, they're gonna become our vassal and they're gonna enjoy the greatness of the empire. Let's get two manufacturers just to make you happy. Uh, let's see, here we go, getting that up and rolling. Well, actually, it's, I'm gonna be happy as well. I'm gonna be happy as well with high income. Uh, let's see. No, we need to get that one line infantry. God damn it. Come on. Die. 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 <laughs> this is just becoming ridiculous right now. Oh shit. They're just invading me instead. Come on, all troops. Fall back. Alright. That's not my capital. My capital is. Where is my capital? Right here. But still, Brandenburg, oh, wow, really? You got Berlin on a seven tick? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. And these two guys, right there and right there. Wow, we have two armies standing right there, just bring you down as quickly as we bloody can. One, two, three, four, good. Now, die, my man, die. Get some corruption, whatever, fine. Now both of you guys follow up. God, I thought we would reward them for a quick second right there. That would have been awesome. Uh, no, I'm not going to favor any one of you. You're not going to get my land right now. I'm not in the mood for giving out my land for any reason. There we go, lovely. 24 favors. You like me a lot now. Awesome. <sighs> Come on. And I've got an air. We got an air as well. Yes. Now all that's needed. All, the, all what's lovely little needed. Is give me an air. And I'm gonna say, probably save up money now for that. Before we switch next level. Let's just get that arm maintenance down kill this get the next reform get more money I bet this emperor is going to live until 100 or something yeah probably uh, get more money he is 59 now 50 freaking 9 I had one emperor live to 70 that's it He's gonna live until we get bigger. Well, we can't do anything about that right now, unfortunately. Uh, but I can see the Commonwealth have lost their alliance with France. Oh, the alliance is just because of Defender of Faith. Not anywhere, any other reason. Ah. Oh. Wow. God, did I miss that? Come on. Yes, some more. Yes, more power right there. Because then we can get uh, Sabotage Reputation. Bring down their diplomatic reputation, then secure mid emperorship that way. <sighs> People are just really trying to mess me up as much as possible. Oh, 
I'm slightly crying. I'm <laughs> older than eight years sending me money constantly. I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, constantly, twice. Very soon, very soon we can get get this institution. Getting 10% more. Uh, more. I can't speak anymore. I can't bloody speak anymore. I want this to end. We're waiting for like 30 years now. 30 years of just waiting for him to die. Over 30 years. Which is the even sadder part. I've not done anything. This has been just me talking and helping allies in different wars left, right and center. Goddamn boring. Just because I'm afraid of losing the Emperorship. Or losing the possibility for the Emperorship. While doing it. France, you wanna join uh, because you're allied with enemy. Hamburg, could, you, could I just vassalize you? That would be kind of nice, actually. Vassalize this entire pile. That sounds like a pretty great idea, actually. Let's vassalize them. If we can. I think we can. Like, we do have the unreasonable demands minus 50% because of this one. Unjustified demands. I think that helps me. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Whatever. Die. Come on, just die. Let's grab my four armies. Uh, one there, one there, one there, and one there. I'm just gonna go in and take all Amber in one freaking war. Uh, more prestige? Yeah, please. How old are you? 61. Don't add more provinces, we're already at... Wait! Where, where's the event? What, where, where's the goddamn event? Tell me I became the emperor. Well, I'm the emperor now. And we're gonna do this one. Boom. Gaining that. <sighs> Raise the maintenance. Hello trade. Let's see, can we get a couple more ships? Yes, we can get 12 more ships. Thank you for the follow, Sarah Lorne in 309. Get a couple more right here. There we go, 48 out of 48 trade ships. Riga needs me to become emperor. Oh, screw you, Latvian. Screw you. No. It's my emperorship. So, no. I'm gonna remove that one from there. I'm gonna send these guys out on allies. Two guys on allies. Just boost that up as much as I bloody can. An Ewig Landsfred. That would be awesome. Just fixing those goddamn wars. And by the way, maybe I should just piss off someone else now. Sweden. Wait, you are... Yeah, you're Christian, goddammit. Uh, Commonwealth, you're also Christian, that's also goddammit. If you're at war with someone, you're at war with someone right now. Brunswick. Br what? Burgundy. Burgundy, wow. Wait, they're back. Back from the dead. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yes, good. Actually, mostly three, but uh, I think we can sustain this. Why didn't I make myself a lector? Can, can I grant myself a lectorship? Maybe I can't, actually. No, but, wow. Anyway, 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 let's make sure we bring down someone. Someone, someone dark side. Now let's improve the ship. We need to take it easy. Just because we became the Emperor right now, we still need to take it slightly easy. Yes, nice and easy. Yeah, I can't make myself lifter. Oh, maybe I should have... S no, wait, I made... Uh, no, I couldn't have become Emperor. You need to inherit Elector through personal union, not integrate. Okay. 
damn it. It could have been nice. Uh, let's see. How many do we have? 35 princes, that's good enough for me. Actually, what's our diplomatic relationships right now? 7 out of 7. Uh, yes. Okay, then I'm fine with accepting one more. Wow, you really don't trust me. If I get a uh, royal marriage for you, maybe you will uh, trust me enough to grant me the honor of being your ally. Yeah, it can be nice. Uh, no, let's send that guy back. Let's send that guy. You still don't want to be my ally, okay? I guess that's kind of fine. There we go. And just a tiny bit more trust and we'll be fine. Okay, Hamburg, it's time for you to be, well, not here anymore, I think. Uh, let's see, core of creation, monetary concession of defeat. No, that's not what I want. I want to make you my little vassal. <laughs> that trust would probably make, yeah, would take me a ridiculously long time. Uh, make yourself a leader of your armies, just make sure you don't get assassinated at home. Oof, don't even try. Don't even bloody try. So why do you have to be defender of faith? God damn it, France. Why? And why do you have to be freaking... That's such a big pain. Austria... Oh, actually, I can attack you by doing Amsterdam, really? Ooh, that's very nice. Uh, I would truce with you for... Oh my god, 11 years, really? Uh, fall CWB, thank you much for follow, much appreciate that. Oh, I guess we're just gonna go in right here and bring them down. Uh, multi at a time, very good. Getting some better ships. Getting more income from here, lovely. Maximize profits, yes, that's what I want. Profits, profit. Call Diet, thank you. It's really just all large nations I can attack. I guess I can always go in and try to grab parts of London. Okay, Sweden, you're allied with Perm. I need to do a no CB war with you to get to Sweden. I can call you in as a co-liberant. That would avoid France joining in because defender of faith, I think. No CB these guys. If we get around and get Sweden into a war where I can take stuff from them and France won't get involved. I think I can do it. This way. What's wrong with you guys? Riga, 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 Riga. Yeah, I can't do anything because France is being annoying. France is being very, very annoying. Uh, I wish I could just go in and save them right now. <sighs> Actually, can I piss off them instead? Somehow. You're allied with knights, you're allied with Riga, allied with Netherlands. Attacking Netherlands would get the in. Yeah, actually, right, we can still attack Netherlands. We can still attack the freaking Netherlands. We just need a... Okay, never mind. Never mi Double never mind, really. Uh, so all guys back get back right here. We can charge in and attack Commonwealth. And with that, we can maybe liberate some lands to Riga. Maybe I can shut you up at the same time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then we must make them pay with force. Yes, of course. Everyone is equal for me in front of, well, my money. Let's see. So we have a slightly larger army right now. So we're going to double build. That's a 29. That's fine. But just make sure we're not above the limit. We are going to get a couple of regimental camps. We're still earning a crap ton of money now. Very nice. 
And with all those extra men, that should be more than enough to bring down the goddamn Commonwealth. Uh, and I do want to pick this one later, but I wanna... we're not getting innovativeness. No, we're not. Then I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna pick this though because I don't care as much about well about Diplo. Next one though, getting that client state and advanced Chaos's belly. That's gonna be epic. That's gonna be big. That's gonna be huge. Uh, okay, we gain two stacks of 18. Yes, and we're gonna split them up between all of these. But oh, actually, we can just unite them. So we unite them right here. And then we split them into four. Nine troops. Nine troops. Nine and nine. Take it easy, Latvia. Take it easy, Latvia. Have we milk that sweet absolutism as much as we bloody got them can? Uh, sure, let's boost up stability to level three. Everything's fine right now, yes. 32k stacks. Lovely. Uh, do we have enough leaders for this war? No, we don't. And of course, we selected the only guy that actually has uh, that guy and that guy. Lovely. Are we ready for this war? I think we are. Well, we can't attack. Actually, we could attack them right. Oh! We could just have straight up me and the Commonwealth. That's really nice. That's actually really, really nice. Commonwealth, I should be able to take you on, right? Wow, you are very, very big right now. You are ridiculously big. You're crazy big. Why? Why? Well, why? Wait, am I looking? No, that would be a Commonwealth. Well, I guess I can always play a defensive war against you and beat the shit out of you for a while and then turn it around. I kind of like that idea, actually. Uh, that is going to be our war goal, yeah. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Maybe we declare war against them, then we call in the other ones after. Yeah, that's work. that works out. Hopefully. Uh, it's Knights and Riga. Sure, Riga, you're fine, but we can still just release land to them. So that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Call in everyone. Nice. Go in right there. Call in there. Call in there. Raise the war taxes. Make sure we have a correct army leader. Yes, we do. Everyone is ready for war. Here. Take that. And actually go in right here as well. And try to grab this as soon as we can. Just please take both those forts now. Before the Commonwealth manage to, well, get their lands up and rolling or get their armies ready for attack that's 70k right there god that's very very dangerous uh, we'll probably have to abandon a siege I think if we just gather up everyone right here instead and we might be able to like surround trap them in our in our lands oh really we at the same freaking time oh, that's harder then but we have a numerical superiority and we got the river penalty on them Oh my god, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. And now we're gonna march in right here and crush them. And they will get the river penalty again. And we got that fort. Now let's reconquer our land instead. Excellent. And now the allies are coming. Good. And yeah, a new tariff. Sure. Whatever. And let's go in and take Warsaw right now. No, 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 no. You stay exactly where you are. Come on. That was lucky. That was goddamn lucky. It was exactly. Call the banners right there. Big ass call the banner moment. <laughs> and of course we lost the guy right there instantly. Oh my god. I didn't want to pick. I want to pick that guy. I didn't want to pick this one at a time. Mm, that hurts. That hurts badly. 
uh, economic, I think that's what we're gonna pick because we are lacking money so much. I do want to pick adaptability, but it's so late right now. It's so goddamn late right now. I'd rather just fix the money situation. I'd rather just fix the money situation. There we go, Warsaw City at war. Voices of the underground, well, voices are saying that you are mine. Oh shit, we have only lost the 30k extra reinforcements we had. We need to just finish this war quickly. It would have been nice if we could have called in France into this, but they had a truce with Commonwealth. That's because they denied the um, Defender of Faith. Which I could have used to my advantage. Like, if they do not retake it instantly, I can probably invade Sweden and similar nations. Uh, right now, we are at 63%, which means I would lose that one, which I don't want to do. So I guess we're going to do like... Oh, wait, we can't do this one either because we need more influence. Hello, nobility. This is that too good province now. But if I give it to you... Come on, nobility. Then you are at 41%. Lovely. I'm going to give you... A things then I'm gonna raise it raise additional levies like that that's 18,000 men joining up right now I just really need manpower <laughs> I really really do need manpower there we go retaking that for my side that's awesome all my allies are joining up right here I want to just gather up troops 92k wipe out that army please thank you and now we're gonna wipe out the rest right here we had the advantage right there god that's a lot of men joining up right there but a nice victory for us. Lovely. Just spread out right here. Take one more province all around the capital. Anyone that could have fled or just retreated himself. We're taking them down. And there we go. Commonwealth. Like, this war is going to be one of those wars where I can't end it very quickly. If I end it quickly now, then it's not going to matter. It's just gonna be one of those wars where, yeah, like they lost a tiny bit and they can just come back in the next time. This time we need to make them burn. So I think I might have to start touching that one very, very soon. That's a thousand manpower. Uh, where's our capital actually? Right here. No, that was our capital. Wow, really? We have no good manpower places at all. Are you kidding me? No, we have no good manpower places anywhere. Uh, probably this one is the best, but that's just 1.2k. But sure, let's burn a tiny bit right there. Uh, <laughs> barely anything. Not gonna pay for half a siege even. No, we have 5 out of 5 right now, so we're fine. We had too many leaders, but you might have said that before. I deleted one of them. So, just in case, thank you. Uh, you're sending more men right here. Just take down these sieges a bit, bit quicker can be beneficial, even if we're paying more in attrition. So we have, uh, actually, we're still, we're still numerically outmatched. Uh, let's send down one of the armies right here. We need all the men we can possibly gather up right now. Bring them down at Wars at Warsaw one more time. Oh god, yes, reinforcements. <laughs> reinforcements saved us right there. Come on, take down that. Don't let them retreat or anything like that. Uh, let's see, like this, split that up. Oh, 39k. We need to take a sizable chunk out of them. That's the thing. And a sizable chunk shall be a sizable chunk. Not this teeny weeny, small little five provinces it should be like 10 plus hopefully but god it's costing me manpower it's costing me actually not that much money like i could just of course build mercs but that would reduce my professionalism but ugh, not building mercs might be more of a pain for me but i seem to be able to grab a sizable chunk anyway uh how much does it take to liberate to riga our return course to Riga. Five war score. Well, we could at least release it a tiny bit. But uh, we're gonna stay in this war just a slight bit longer. And I think it's time for me to just say goodbye to 10 professionalists. Just so we gain that 31k manpower that's gonna be so very crucial right now. 
they are of course building mercs I rather just save my troops gather up banners <laughs> well actually we're not using banners that's a completely different feature <sighs> so commonwealth pieced someone out right now that's a bad thing that's a very bad thing for me so I think I'm just gonna take this and be happy with it that's a lot of territory that's a sizable chunk actually if we could do this instead if we could somehow cut them off from the trade That's actually even better. Mm, if I ignore that one province, but that would be betraying Riga. That would be very much betraying Riga. That would be returning that to Riga. Okay, I return two provinces Riga right there. But then I can't take anything else. That's one, two, three, four, five. Only five provinces for me. <sighs> I need to fight more. I need to fight more. I need to bloody fight more. Krakow, really? For for me, right? No, they took it back. Oh my god. That's worse. That's really bad. That was a good province for me. The key. Uh, so let's make sure we not do not let them take back anything else. Come on, come on, win that battle, win that battle. Good, good. Now we need to just unite and retake tons of land. You, we at least took Wiltno, okay, good. Now let's send home the army over here. Good, H3 becoming stronger, thanks Switzerland. Go in and take Krakow again. Oh shit. I can't lose that battle. I can't lose that battle. I'm losing that battle. Okay, I'm losing that battle. Lost two war score. Can I still make this piece? Yes. And I can take one more province. Ugh, oh, that's worse, but good enough. Good freaking enough. Oh, that was very, very, very harsh. Quite a difficult battle. Didn't like it at all. Did not like that battle at all. Did not like this war at all. Two provinces to Riga. Be happy with that now. Be really happy with that now. I bled hard for that. I bled really, really hard for that. Much harder than I should have. People are still vote for me for Emperor. Uh, three people are, at least. So, let's take that back. And let's make sure that... Let's see. First of all... Allies. All allies should love me again. Are you my ally yet? No, you're still hating me. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not? Oh, when did I lose my lines with you somehow? Oh, an old treatise. Oh, you must have been forced to remove that. Ah, okay, never mind that. Uh, let's see. Well, I can actually send it manually to you. Just make sure we improve it as much as possible since we're not allies anymore. That's seven. Oof. There we go. There we freaking go. All of you guys, start training as much as you bloody goddamn can. Get the last one cord as well, please. And this became a much, much longer stream than I ever anticipated. I was thinking two hours at most. 3 hours and uh, 30 minutes, exactly, and that's removing the 10 minutes intro, but I had tons of fun anyway, god, we at least became emperor again, 
Uh, one thing we desperately need is manpower, so I'm just gonna use all that to get some more manpower right there. The bell modifier, let's get the, actually let's get the natural unrest guy. I became emperor again, I returned to Riga, I made only two reforms. Two reforms, I have three more, uh, one more before it becomes great. I have two more before it becomes really, really good. And then three more before we are gods upon this earth. But that will have to wait until next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you really enjoyed the stream. It was tons of fun. Thanks for all the subs, thanks for all the new follows. Hope you have a nice time. Uh, let's do like this. Ray Dangus Mimus. Thank you, thank you, Lups. <laughs> Lupus Rex 711 for the host or for the follow. I can't even speak right now. I'm super tired. Have a great one. And I'll see you guys next time. Let's see if I spell that correctly. Yes. Or, well, no, I didn't spell that correctly. Did I? No, he's dank. Oh my god, let's abort that. There we go. That should be correct. Yes, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, have a good one. See you guys next time. Bye. And bye. <laughs>